Hang on, hang on. I'm not ready for this yet. Stardew Valley. I'm gonna play the soundtrack, shall we? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Anyway. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm going to post an announcement in my Discord saying that I went live because I did not really warn people in there. I just sort of decided this on stream yesterday and then I didn't update the schedule, so. Hello, happy, happy Sunday. I'm wearing a Stardew Valley shirt. I actually was this week already, but I put it back on because we're playing Stardew Valley, so. Oh, nuclear, Any, know what's, anyone know what time since then should be streaming today? <laughs> um, now. Anyway, I'm posting an announcement, hang on. Sorry, I'm sorry, but I'm live right now playing Stardew Valley. LOL. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Hi, good morning. It's good to see you. <laughs> okay, let me post this really quickly. And now we should to be good. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. My sorry music is loud. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. Now I can play Stardew Valley. I'm opening the game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brayden. 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 Tell me you are not still awake. Brayden. <laughs> Thank you for the 49 months, by the way, but Brayden. Brayden. Hang on. Wait. I'm listening to two Stardew soundtracks at once. Okay, there we go. That's what we wanted. <laughs> anyway, hello everybody. <laughs> um, it is good to see you. Welcome back. I'm very excited. I just posted a tweet because I was so excited, but um, you know how I told you yesterday? Well, maybe you weren't there, but if you were, if you were there, then you know. Why? Please, game, game. Oh my God, you are stressing me out. Anyway, so Dan finally got, um, the government finally was like, here, I'll give you a date for your green card interview. Finally, we the case status updated online on Tuesday to say like interview scheduled, but it didn't say when, because of course not. So we had to wait for the letter to actually come in the mail and it came yesterday. So I got it after I got off stream obviously. And it said like middle of April. So that's less than a month away. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, Dan's uh, green card interview schedule. I guess it's not just Dan's. It's like ours. I have to go too. We're, they're going to interview both of us. But um, you got double bingo yesterday. Are you kidding me? I got I got none bingo. <laughs> I got zero bingo. <laughs> um. Anyway, what are you doing here, Tori? I'm playing Stardew Valley. I did plan this. We were just talking. Yeah, I was just DMing Tori, but I was also going live at the same time. <laughs> yeah, Lala, I think I, well, I guess there is possibility of it not working out, but Dan, so basically Dan's brother is getting married in August. Um, and we were really hoping that he would have like the ability to leave the country before then. Obviously it was out of our control. Like we applied for all the right things, but like, the government does what it wants, and oftentimes it's not good at it. So, um, anyway, uh, hopefully, I'm pretty sure now with the interview being in April that he'll be able to go t in August, unless they, like, for some reason decide they don't believe us or something. But I, I doubt that'll happen. I, it should be okay. Um, a Sunday? I know. <laughs> I don't usually stream on Sundays. Or in the morning, but here we are. Anyway, PP and Kara and Pastel, thank you for the subs. 40 months... Kara, thank you so much. 18 months, PP King. Three months past all squish. Beanie with the 10 months. Happy birthday. I can sing you a song. <laughs> and Catherine, thank you for the 24 months as well. Anyway, we're going to play Stardew Valley. So I've got this, um, what I call evil Stardew Valley save. Um, basically, in evil Stardew Valley, uh, what you do is... <laughs> everything wrong. <laughs> so, you know, you support Joja Mart. Uh, for example, I, I dated the entire town all at once. Literally all of them, every single person you could date, I dated behind their backs and then had them all find out at the same time. It was hilarious. Um, I'm now married to Abigail and I intend to eventually turn our babies into doves 
and send them away and divorce her. Um, and then I'm probably gonna try and get Krobus to come live with me, because he'll hate it. But basically, I, I'm trying to do Stardew Valley in a way that I never play it, because I never do this. I never, like, do all these things that I that I never do. I, I kind of usually play Stardew in a, in a very, um, friendly way, <laughs> um, in a very casual way. You know, I want to befriend everybody, I want everyone to love me. This is different. This is different. Um, but anyway, that's what I've been up to. As you can see, I, I dated everyone all at once. <laughs> um, no, I did not find Tangy. I spent seven hours looking for her and didn't get her. We'll be back on Wednesday trying that one again. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's, that's what I've been doing. I've been trying to play Stardew in sort of a different way than I normally do. Um, and it's been quite fun. Unfortunately, it's winter time, so that sucks. Um, but... <laughs> I also, I'm playing on the Four Corners farm, I never do that. Um, basically, I'm, I'm just doing a lot of things that I don't, I don't often do in this game. Because um, it's, it's fun to play in a sort of different way. I've got so many hours in Stardew Valley, it's kind of fun to, to play in a way that I don't usually, so. Um, okay, well. <laughs> I don't remember what we were up to, to be honest. <laughs> You like the Four Corners farm? Yeah, I usually play on the standard farm because I sort of prefer for it to be, like, flat and empty. Uh, but it's it's kind of fun playing on the Four Corners farm again. Because um, I haven't done it in a while. Okay, let me grab these cheeses. Thank you. Anyway, Elin and Maggie and Jules and Candy and Curious um, and Kara and Kemnik and JD and Grau and Little Dika and Aries and uh, Nin and, and Aisha and Angel and Sammy and... And, uh, Prickle, and Mamie, and Lime Fanta, and Lauren, and Ash, and Dear Prudence, and Princess, and Music, and Fancy, and Vanilla, and Diane, and Cookie, and Kate, and Laya, and everybody, Helena, Catherine, thank you so much, everybody. I'm sorry if I missed anything. Um, yeah, I know, Mick, that's the thing. I don't really love the winter in this game, either. <laughs> um, I, I've already upgraded all my tools, so we could probably focus on the island a little bit. That could be fun. That could be fun. Oh, I'm gonna go talk to my animals. But I like to farm, and you can't really farm in the winter time, so... Pain. Oh, here's a fun thing. I've got an auto petter in here. This is something you can only get on the JoJo route, or if you get lucky in the Skull Caverns, you can find one. Um, but that, that little spinny item, it pets your animals for you, so you don't have to. Um, obviously you can still pet them, like, extra, but that- that little spinny thing pets your animals for you. Um. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> What's this game, Simsy? This is a game called Stardew Valley. If you haven't heard of it, I am- I am very pleased to be the one to introduce you to it. Um, it's a lovely little farming game. Um, this is perhaps, honestly, I, I would dare say my favorite game of all time. Oh, the Festival of Ice has begun. Okay. Um, but basically it's a, a game where you farm. You, you know, don't normally try and harass the villagers, but that's what I'm doing. Um, it's got story. It's got heart. It's, it's a beautiful game. I think you will really like it. It's also only $15 and it was made by just one guy. Like one man made the entire game all by himself. Um, and it, it's a very popular game. You might have heard of it before. Um, but it's really good, and I highly recommend it. So. <laughs> anyway, Bridget and Ginger and MD and Brooke. Uh, thank you all for the subs and stuff, by the way. You can get it on Steam. You can also get it on Switch. Uh, you can get it on, I mean, literally anything. <laughs> you can get Stardew Valley on a lot of things. Um. But it's- you can buy it on your phone if you want. There's mobile version. Uh, you can buy it on your Tesla. Or it, it actually comes preloaded on Teslas. It's free. That one's a joke, but it, it's actually on Tesla. If you have a Tesla, it's one of the preloaded games. Isn't that wild? There's like- Stardew Valley's on literally everything. Um, on literally everything. <laughs> so, possibly Ellen and Sonia and Bridget. Thank you for the subs and stuff, everybody. Um, Bezos Farm, really? Yeah, I- so, Kay, in case you missed it, uh, I'm playing Evil Stardew Valley. Capitalism. Ruining the lives of the- the townies. Jeff Bezos. Jeff, my cat, Bezos the farm. Um. 
welcome. <laughs> By the way, if you happen to have Amazon Prime, Amazon owns Twitch, and so you get a bunch of perks on Twitch with your Prime subscription, including a free sub every month. So every 30 days, you get a fresh, brand new Prime sub, and you can use it anywhere on Twitch or here. All our options. <laughs> it's completely free. You already pay for Amazon Prime, so it's included in your Prime subscription. Um, so if you aren't using it, you're just wasting your money because you're already paying for it. Um, so you don't have to use it here. Use it somewhere at least, though. Um, okay, I'm going to place this... Oh, I need to go through my chest, maybe. That would be a useful thing to do. Um, okay. Um, but anyway, <laughs> that's the meme. That's the meme. Why have the absolute nothing for 10k eggs? Bestie, it's a meme. What's the problem? Okay, I'm gonna go to the ice festival, by the way. <laughs> Free and Cheese and Katie and Anna Laura and Whimsical and Starlene and Ellie and Danny and Dorcasaurus and Siren. Thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, I'm watching me right now. I just felt like playing Stardew, so I'm here. As you can see, it's a good meme. <laughs> People like it. <laughs> People like the meme, so <laughs> all of a sudden, everyone all at once spams <laughs> the absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, thanks, Sabrina. I'm really, I'm really glad about it too. It's such a relief um, to get Dan's interview scheduled. Obviously, well, I keep saying Dan's, but literally, it's like hours. I have to go to the visa or to the to the, uh, to the interview too. Like me and Dan both have to go to the green card interview, and they're going to interview both of us to confirm that we're actually in a relationship. <laughs> it's really bizarre. Um, but it's a really big relief to have it scheduled, obviously, because it's so out of your control. Like, we applied in August, and then you just hope that they get to it <laughs> and, you know, cross your fingers that it doesn't take too long. And I didn't really know what to expect with, like, COVID delays and stuff. Yeah, we got the date yesterday. Um, it came in the mail yesterday. So I, uh, it came while I was streaming, obviously, because I streamed all day. But then when I got off stream, went to the mailbox, the letter was in there, so... Um, you have literal video evidence. Do you know what? I was, I was joking to Tori before I went live. I was like, literally, I might print out like the screenshots of the videos I posted about the process and be like, look at this. I told 1.5 million people we got married. I don't think I'm lying. <laughs> My video got 700,000 views. <laughs> Government. But I'm, I'm serious. I might even bring that. The actual evidence is like, you know, bring like our mortgage papers on the new house. Like we both are, both of our names are on this look. <laughs> but also, I might, I might print out some YouTube screenshots. Like it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I think that like publicly sharing it, right, is a, I don't know, is good evidence, but whatever. Um, it's kind of a meme, but like, <laughs> Anyway, um, we got ice festival to do. Okay, I think... Hmm. Maybe I should buy, like, this icy rug is kind of giving Joja Mart. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do my little fishing tournament really fast. Um, Gold Elbows and Squishy and Lady and Kinda and Eliza and Violet and, and everybody, uh, Siren and Bree, thank you so much for the subs and stuff. Oh, what the heck? Dad? <laughs> that was really nice. My dad just said, love you, Kayla, in my chat for no reason. That was really nice. Dad, I'm probably gonna make a frog cake later. Basically, my idea is bake a cake, but it's decorated like a frog. So if you want some, let me know. Because I'm going to do that today, probably. <laughs> Paraphrase Wiki, thank you for the subs. Okay, sorry, I'm going to do my ice fishing tournament really fast. This, if this is your first experience with Stardew, it's a weird one. Um, this is just one of the holidays. So I'm doing an ice fishing tournament. <laughs> also, I'm currently wearing this man's underwear. To mock him. So. I will show you in mods if I do it. Yeah, I will. Don't worry, Jess. I'm gonna bake something today. And my idea is to bake a cake, but if I change my mind, um, I'll let you know. Anyway, in this game, one of the early quests is, um, Mayor Lewis is like, Hey, if you see my shorts anywhere, let me know. 
And the shorts are actually in this woman Marnie's bedroom. <laughs> um, and so you have to, like, befriend Marnie enough to get into her bedroom and get Mayor Lewis's shorts back so you can give them back to him. Um, but if you, like, sew them with gold, you can, you can keep them and wear them. Which is what I have done. Um. So. I hope you wash them. Ew. Ew. <laughs> this is Marnie, by the way. This little person at the bottom there is Marnie. Um, but he and Marnie are having an affair. It's a secret. I'm against capitalism in Stardew, but I do support embarrassing Lewis. That's the thing. I, like, I'm playing this game in a way that I very much do not normally do it. Like, this, the, the, when I did this playthrough, I've already done the Jojo Mart stuff now. Um, but when I did this playthrough, this is my first time ever doing Jojo Mart. So, I've played this game a lot. <laughs> oh no, Marnie and Lewis aren't married. But their relationship is a secret. And they're all suspicious about it. And he won't tell anyone about her. He doesn't care about her enough. I think, I think he's trying to keep it a secret because he like, I don't know, he doesn't want the town to know. It's really weird. I don't understand why it has to be a secret either. They could just be together. But he doesn't care about her enough to like, proclaim his love for her. So, I don't like him. <laughs> Well, that's the thing, yeah, Aisha, I had to- I had to do the Jojo Mart stuff on stream and make a whole meme out of it to make me not feel bad doing it. <laughs> um, but, anyway. <laughs> Aaron and Thorn and Horror and Clara and Fear and Freezer, everybody, thank you for the subs. <laughs> yeah, he says he doesn't want people- he doesn't want people to not take him seriously, but, like, that makes no sense. No one's gonna not take you seriously because you're dating Marnie. You're just the worst, because you won't, like, tell people that you're together. <sighs> I won. I have five slimy fish. Thank you. Give me my prize. Why are we live so early? I just felt like playing Stardew. I don't usually stream on Sundays, so. Here I am. Lewis is the only one in Pelican Town who thinks his relationship is a secret. No, you're not even wrong, though. Like, that- that is fully true. Lewis is the only person here who thinks nobody knows. Everybody knows. <laughs> Everybody can tell Lewis. Um, so, Fel, there's- okay, basically, this game has, um, a few different paths, right? So, when you first start out, the early game tasks are very much like, ooh, you know, um, go and- try and finish the community center or just pay off Jojo Mart. So basically in the game, um, the whole storyline is that you're, um, like you used to work in this horrible, like dead end job in an office that you hated and you decide, you know what? I'm moving back to grandpa's farm. Grandpa's dead, but you're moving back to grandpa's farm. His farm's kind of run down. Um, he's dead, you know, but you decide I'm going to go out there. I'm going to take it over. Um, and there, you're kind of presented with like two choices as you first begin. You can like help restore the community center in town. And the community center is like, um, it's, it's got like a bunch of quests basically in it. Um, where you try and, uh, like, you know, find like a bunch of different fruits that it wants you to find and a bunch of different gems it wants you to find and like do all these things. And as you complete it, you start unlocking more things. Like you slowly unlock the bus stop and you unlock the you know, like the quarry, and you keep doing it until you unlock everything. Or you could just pay Joja Mart, like, like Walmart. <laughs> you could just pay them uh, to unlock all those things immediately. Um, but the problem is if you just pay it off, then like Joja Mart comes in and takes over the old community center and replaces it with their warehouse. Um, and it's kind of sad, right? Because Joja Mart's like trying to throw the, the small local grocer out of business. Um, he's struggling because he can't compete with their prices. Um, stuff like that's going on. Um, he doesn't actually go out of business, though. <laughs> um, but then you can kind of pick what side you want to do. You finish that, and then, um, you kind of just keep farming, you know, playing however you want to. You can focus on, like, animals or plants or whatever. It's winter, so I have no plants planted, obviously, but, um, you do that, and then, um, what was I saying? Oh, and then <laughs> after you've kind of finished that, there's a huge update now that adds, like, a whole second world, um, 
and you can you can go to like this island and work on all the island stuff. It's wild. There's like so much to do in this game, um, even past the community center. Uh, and also there's like mines and there's there's a lot of things in Stardew Valley. There's lots of things you can do. Um, but that's how it works. That's how you play. <laughs> it's a very chill game too. You kind of just hang out and um, play. Okay. Yeah, there's perfection now as well. Yeah, you can, um, basically, there's, like, this perfection tracker in the in the new update. And the perfection tracker, like, um, tracks that you've done everything. Like, literally everything. And you get kind of a cool prize when you do it. I won't tell you what it gives you, but um, the perfection, that means, like, you've got max hearts with literally every person in the whole game. As you can see, I haven't really tried because I was just trying to date people. <laughs> I'm not going to go perfection in this save. Um, you've, like, maxed all of the skills. Um, you've, like, sold one of everything, uh, you've caught every single one of the fish, you've got all of the minerals donated, you've, like, cooked everything once, um, you've done all the achievements, like, the perfection tracker is that you've literally done everything, and I did that last time I played, it was really fun. Um, but, anyway, there's loads of, there's loads of stuff you can do in this game. Um, the cooking is really fun to complete, yeah, it's kind of cool because of the cooking, you have to, like, um, you unlock the recipes in a lot of different ways. Like, for example, you can unlock the recipes, um, like, some of them you have to befriend people to unlock. Some of them you have to, uh, like, buy the recipes. Like, you get them from, like, letters in the mail from people. There's lots of different ways to get the, all the recipes. And you have to cook them all. It's pretty fun. Um, I'm really a big fan of Stardew, if you can't tell. <laughs> um, it's, it's a really good game, so... <laughs> The spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, it takes a long time to get all the ingredients for the cooking. Um, if I had to pick between Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley, which would I choose? Oh my goodness, that is a tough question. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think people ask me that kind of thing a lot. They'll be like, oh, Kayla, like, What's better, The Sims or Stardew Valley? And it's, I don't really, like, have an answer to that. Um, because they're both so different, you know? Like, I wouldn't really even... What's Baby's name? Oh, I don't remember. Let's find out. Why isn't it in my list? Can I not see my child? I'll have to go back and check. Um... Yeah, the creator of Stardew is making another new game. Another one all by himself. Um, I think it's named Soap. No, I haven't turned it into a dove yet, but I will. Why can't I tell? How do I know its name? Help! It might be called Soap. That sounds right to me. I think the baby is called Soap because I was going to turn it into a dove in the friendship panel. I couldn't find it. I Maybe I scrolled past it, but I did look. Oh, there it is. That's why I was scrolling too far. It is called Soap. Whose baby is that? That's my baby. <laughs> anyway, I called it Soap because I intend to turn it into a dove. Um, like Dove Soap. But anyway, I haven't turned it into a dove yet. <laughs> I'm still gonna do that. Stardew is $15, Jules. Um, I think that is very cheap for, for what this game is. Um, I think they could easily charge a lot more for this. Yeah, I intend to turn it into a bird. You can get rid of your kids that way in this game. Um, like, you can, when you turn them into doves, you can, like, go talk to the witch and, and basically get rid of your children. Um, and I've never done that before. And again, this is evil Stardew, where I'm doing things that I don't usually do. <laughs> like, turn my kids into doves. So I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try and get rid of one. And then divorce Abigail. Because I never done that either. I've never gotten divorced in this game, so... <laughs> I, I come here with really bad intentions. I'm trying to do all the things that I don't usually do. So... It'll be fun. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the memory wipe after divorce, Jess. Yeah, I well, because I haven't done that either. So I'm trying to just do all the things that I don't usually do. Um, uh, no, Sammy, I I haven't played this save in a few months. I've I've got like 60 hours in this save. I did it all on stream, but I haven't played it in a few months. 
Um, it's all on my second channel on YouTube. It's on More Simsy if you want to watch it back. Um, but I haven't played Stardew on stream in a few months. Um, I got kind of distracted by my new Switch, so <laughs> I've been doing that. The memory wipe is like, after I divorce Abigail, I can pay to wipe her memory so she won't remember that I divorced her. So she won't hate me anymore. So. <laughs> anyway, Miss Stardew, thank you for the six months! And Kelsey, and PP and Pemis, and Alicia, and Ali and Elf, and Blaze, and, and Susu, and Sabra, and everybody, thank you for the subs. Can I check the crab traps? Oh, you can, but I didn't put any bait in these, so there's nothing in them. If I put bait in them, uh, there would have been stuff in them, but I didn't put any. I think I might try Stardew Valley Expanded. I've never played with a Stardew mod. I've literally never in my life played with a Stardew Valley mod. Um, I've seen loads of people play with Stardew Valley Expanded, but I've never actually played it myself. Um, I can show you how to put bait in those things. I think tomorrow I want to go to the Skull Caverns. Um, I was not dropping frames. That was your internet. I just checked titanium. That was, that was not on my end. Um. But yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool mod, Story Valley Expanded is. Um, but yeah, I've not actually played it myself yet. You're so spoiled by quality life mods, you can't play vanilla anymore. Yeah, there's a bunch, like, there's one that Dan always plays with, um, where it puts, like, all the villagers on the map so you can see where they are. Um, so you don't have to, like, run around looking for them or, like, you know check the wiki to see where Elliot is at 2 p.m. on a Tuesday in winter. Because <laughs> um, you can do that, like, you can check, the wiki will tell you, like, oh, you know, Elliot goes to the such and such place on Tuesdays at this time, and, like, so they have, like, sort of a set schedule, but it changes depending on the season sometimes, and it changes, like, based on the day or, like, if it's raining, but they have, like, sort of a set schedule, so if you remember it, um, you can find them, but sometimes you can get, like, a mod that'll put them all on this, so it'll like show you where they are, so you don't need to look around for them. Um. Anyway, <laughs> there's mods for more crops and stuff. Yeah, there's lo there's mods that'll show like your luck right here, so you don't need to check the TV. Um, there's a lot of different stuff like that, but again, I don't really play with those things. Um, why do I have this here? Why do I have a lot of these things here? I'm just gonna leave those there for now in case I don't remember what I was doing with it. Um, but I kind of want to go to the Skull Caverns tomorrow. <laughs> I won't lie to you, besties. I'm kind of feeling like that could be fun. So I might, I might do that. Um, I'm gonna need to get some more coffee. But yeah, I might, I might go to the Skull Caverns tomorrow. <sighs> Just for funsies, you know? I've got a warp totem for the desert. I've got some staircases. Um, I might get a warp totem for the farm. We can put a bunch of these things back. Maybe I'll go buy some more bombs. Yeah, the skull caverns are really fun. Um, the skull caverns are really, really fun. <laughs> a lot of people think they're scary, but once you get used to them, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of fun. Okay, I was gonna go to the mines to buy some stuff. You like the skull cavern elevator mod? <laughs> I think the Skull Caverns are fun. Basically, in the Skull Caverns, these aren't them. These are just the regular mines. Um, but in the Skull Caverns, um, you can't save- why did I buy cherry bombs? You can't save your place. Um, so you have to, like, sort of go back and start over each time you go. And the lower down you get, the better off you are and stuff. Um, and a lot of people don't like them because they think they're scary. <laughs> But I think they're fun. <laughs> I like the Skull Caverns. But they, there isn't like, a, this is the regular mines, and the regular mines there's an elevator so I can go back to like level 115. Um, but in the Skull Caverns you can't do that. You have to um, start from the top each time. Um, pro tips though, if you're going to the Skull Caverns, try and bring bombs and also- why did I walk all the way up here? Try and bring bombs and also, uh, bring good food. Like, like cheese is a really good food, plus 225 energy and 101 health. Um, and also go on a good luck day. Go on a good luck day because then you're more likely to get things breaking faster and stuff. I'll show you. I'm probably gonna just sleep through a couple days in the winter because I don't like the winter. It's boring. Um, this is winter of year two living art that we're on right now. Um, 
Bombs, cheese, spicy eel, and espresso. Exactly. The spicy eel's good because you get plus one luck and plus one speed. Um, but anyway, you can check on the TV what your luck is like, and then you can just go straight away. Um, you can also get a mod to check your luck each day that just puts it on the screen, but you check on the TV. <laughs> um, and if you've got good luck, then that's a good time to go. But I would just wait until you have an actual good luck day. So you can check the fortune teller. Mildly perturbed today. See? Not a good time to go. So I won't. <laughs> so I won't. Okay. I'm gonna put... Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Let me put this back. I've got 13 of these left. I don't remember how many extra lines I had downstairs. Happy birthday, Allie! I could sing you a birthday song. <laughs> Oh, I should just sell these. I've got too much. You'll still go when it's a bad luck day? That's the thing, though, but it's really hard to do it on bad luck days because you don't actually get all the stuff, you know? Um, no, Jackson, I'm not doing two streams today. I, I usually do zero streams on Sundays, so I'm not going to stream twice today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, this is a random bonus stream in the morning. Um... But I'm not gonna stream. I'm not gonna stream twice. How do you see all the parts of the house on the screen? Um, could that have something to do with, um, the, like, UI scale and stuff? Is that what you mean? Did I scroll past it? Or perhaps you mean my monitor in the zoom level. There you go. You can adjust this. To be zoomed differently. So you can see more or less. But that's how you can do it. Also, besties, uh, if you ever have a question, for example, I know, Jackson, you just got timed out for spamming, but um, if you ever have a question, my, my mods have probably answered it. <laughs> like, I know Jess answered your question a few times. Um, so I, I know it's exciting to wait for, like, Simsy to, to read your message and stuff, but um, if it's a simple question, my mods or even just someone random in chat have, have probably answered it for you. So if I didn't see it... Um, you can, you can wait for a message in chat, and, and the chat's not really going fast today. There's not a lot of people here, so it's it's easier to see. Um, will I play Among Us again? We're trying to pick a day still, probably in the next couple weeks, though. We usually do it, like, once a month. Um, yeah, Martian, that's this is my first time playing properly on the Four Corners map. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to keep all those strawberries to make seeds out of. Um, I I usually like the Four Corners. Well, I usually like to play on this, the standard map. This is my first time playing on Four Corners properly. Um, and I don't know, It's it's been fun, but I, I still probably would um, not play on it again. <laughs> this is better when you're playing with, like, friends on multiplayer and stuff, too, I think. Um, all right, I'm just gonna go to sleep again. What makes it far more evil? Well, in this save, I'm trying to do literally everything wrong. For example, I dated all of the- all of the people all at once, cheating on them all. I married Abigail. I intend to divorce her. Never done that before, but it's gonna be my first time. Um, I've got a kid. I intend to turn into a dove soon. Haven't done that either, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm basically just trying to do all of the, like, Joja Mart. Like, all of the- the bad things that I don't usually do in- in Stardew. Um, I'm doing them for the first time in this save. Because I usually play this game in a very different way. <laughs> Um, so it's been kind of fun to- I pressed the wrong button to play this way. Spirits are very happy today. All right, perfect. Good time to go to the desert. Let's do it. You can turn your kid into a dove? Yeah, that's how you get rid of them. If you don't want the babies anymore, you can turn them into doves. This is winter of year two, ditto, that we're on right now. Um, okay. Let me grab myself one of these. Why are those bombs separate? Hang on. Let's go. Go gamers, go gamers. Just blow things up. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, pro tip, place bombs and run. <laughs> that is how you do the skull cavern. Just go. <laughs> Oh my god. And also, if you get, like, a, a slime level, a lot of times, just skip it if you want to. That's how you- if you're trying to get low fast, the whole point of the Skull Caverns is to get, like, 
far down in them as quickly as you can because that's where the good stuff is. Like all the good stuff is very, very, very low down. Um, so the, the farther down you can get and the faster you can, just go. Don't bother with the resources on the top levels. Literally just take it and run. Oh my god. Literally just take it and run though. As soon as you get a, a ladder, don't bother collecting everything on each level. Just go because you want to collect things on the lower levels and you obviously have a limited amount of time until like the sun sets. And you have to go home because you don't well i would just pass out at 2 a.m in the skull caverns but um you only have until then so you want to make the most out of it because you have to get started over each time <laughs> when you come back the next day so this is an annoying level for bombs oops i'm not being fast enough thank you but those are the tips those are my tips for you besties <laughs> hope that helps a lot of people ask, so. Oops. Go away. Go away. Thank you. So how's your day been? How do you see the monster levels? Oh, you built, uh, you craft staircases. Oh, see, there's one open. And I didn't even see it because I wasn't looking. Uh, but you can craft staircases uh, with like a hundred stone. But you get loads of stone in the skull caverns. But you can craft the staircases and you can skip them. Um, but I, I would just, if you're trying to get down fast, I would just skip the monster levels. Also, take the holes when you can, because those can drop you, see, four levels instead of just one. Um, so be on the lookout for, like, holes and stuff, because those are usually better than the other things. Gordon, Stephanie, Dawn, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, but yeah, those are my pro tips. Look, hole, come on. And on better luck days, it can drop you further. Like, you might get, like, eight, nine, ten higher amounts of levels dropped at once. Thank you. Oh, no, I need to eat. Oh, no, I need to eat. I need to eat. I need to eat. Okay, sorry. Jeez. <laughs> Living art. Thank you for the subs, too. Uh, I'm just gonna blow those up. I'm just gonna blow these up. Thank you. Yeah, you can drop, like, 13, 15 levels. It just depends what your luck is like. I'm only getting, like, five right now, but... Uh, good to look out for those holes, though. Because that's how you get further down fast. See, I'm on level 21 now. That's pretty good. But you want to get down way past that if you want to get lots of iridium. Thank you. Thank you. Stardew is weird. Sometimes it- oops, I was going to place a bomb, but I don't need to. Sometimes it, um... Like, the music just stops playing. <laughs> I don't know why, but my music just stopped playing. Oh, it started again. But the in-game music just stopped. Yeah, there's dinosaurs in this game. Yeah, there's, um, on some of the lower levels, you can get dinosaur levels in the Skull Caverns. Um, became roommates with Krobus recently. That's what I'm trying to do. I, um, because Krobus doesn't want to live above ground. <laughs> And as we know, I'm playing Evil Stardew Valley, so I'm trying to uh, become roommates with Krobus. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, well, once I divorce Abigail, I can. I can't right now because I already live with Abigail, but once I get rid of her, I can. Um, but that's my, that's my future plan is to get Krobus to move in. <laughs> He doesn't want to. If you like the idea of, of watching someone who's like really good at this gameplay, by the way, there's a bunch of people who like speed run Stardew Valley. Um, and those kind of streams are really exciting. Like it's, it's such a different way of playing the game than a lot of us normally do. Um, only four levels, but it's pretty cool. Um, ooh, got a ladder. Thank you. Thank you. Let me through, let me through, let me through. Okay. I like using the mega, oh, I can't, because there's a ladder open. These are the skull caves, yeah. 32, it's 10.50 in the morning. Also, if you can, here's another pro tip for the skull caverns. If you can, um, you can buy like desert warp totems from uh, like the cart in, in the desert. Um, if you can get yourself some of those, oh, here's my first look. Um, but if you can, I would recommend um, trying to get some of those before you try and come because when you use those desert warp totems, you can come here at 6 a.m. instead of 10 a.m. because normally you have to wait for the bus to open. Um, but if you come with the warp totem, you can spend a, lo oh, you can spend a lot more time here. Having some more hours, uh, some more time is way better, way more useful. 
Because then you can get a lot further. Come on. Eight levels! That's better. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Anyway, I think it's exciting in the school caverns, so I like to come. <laughs> yeah, there's mummies. The mummies are kind of hard to, uh, to kill because you have to kill them with your sword, and then they just, like, turn into a pile on the floor, and they can respawn. So you have to blow them up after you do that. That's a little crab. Ooh. Give me some little crab cake. That's another little crab. Thank you. But you come in here mostly because you want the iridium, right? So, um, be on the lookout for those pieces. They only start spawning when you're lower down, so. Oops, I let him get me. I like to bring cherry bombs when you're trying to kill mummies. You don't always have to. Um, it's just kind of annoying. Like, I didn't really need to kill him, but, like, you can place a cherry bomb and then blow him up. There, part of the quest for perfection is that you have to kill a bunch of mummies, so. Um, if you're trying to do that, bombs are useful, you can kill them with them. Thank you. Anyway, Abby, Lolly, uh, Dash, and Marine, and Chris Cat, thank you for the steps. I'm gonna use a mega bomb. Thank you. Okay, next. Favorite non datable NPC? Oh my goodness. Um, George. George. I like George. He's a cool guy. <laughs> I quite like him. Um, I like all the NPCs in Stardew, though. I feel very attached to, like, literally all of them. Even the ones that I don't like that much. <laughs> I know that's kind of silly, but it's true. I really like them. Oops. Even Clint. Yeah, even- literally even Clint. <laughs> I just like this game. I've been playing Stardew for so long. It's just, I feel attached. I shouldn't have placed a Mega Bomb right there. That was a mistake. Oh well. Here we are. Oops. Thank you. You're attached to Willy? Oh, I like Willy. My favorite dateable NPC is Harvey. A lot of people think he's boring, but he was the first one I ever married. Um, so I really like him. <laughs> He was the first one I ever, um, I ever tried to marry, so I feel attached to him. Anyway, Clint kind of sucks. I understand, but... You know, he's Clint! He's Clint! You like Robin? Oh, I like Robin, too. She's cool. Robin's a good one. This is winter of year two that I'm on right now. Um, 13 levels! There we go! That's the good stuff. Now I got bats. Boring. Oh no. Oh no, I shouldn't be bothering with this. Go away! Thank you. Nah, I don't care about slime level. See? Place a ladder. Just go on. Just move on. Clint's a bit cringe. Ah, good way of putting it. <laughs> Good way of putting it. Mama Monkey, Graceland, Brina, Claire, thank you for the subs too. Come on. Clint's boring. Yeah, he's boring and a little creepy. So, Haley's a meanie. Haley's only mean when you first start out though. Once you actually get to know Haley, she's not as bad. Oh, just play. Thank you for the gifted subs again, by the way. Thank you so much. Five gifted. I really appreciate that. Um. Married Sebastian. Oh, I like Sebastian. I've been sort of slowly but surely- Oh, Prismatic Shard! Oh, that was fun. <laughs> prismatic Shards are really rare. <laughs> that was really exciting. Anyway, um, I've, uh, I've been kind of trying to marry, like, every- every single one of the NPCs as I go through. Like, I'm just trying to get through, like, everybody at least once. But Haley- I married Haley recently. Well, no, not recently, but I married Haley on one of my stream playthroughs. Um, we did, like, a poll. And I kind of like Haley. She's only mean in the beginning. She seems kind of shallow, but she's actually really nice. Another prismatic shard! Yay! 
this is the thing when you come in with uh, good luck and when you're using the spicy eel to get like extra luck You've got a pretty good chance of getting fanatic shard drops from the iridium nodes um, One time I got six in one day <laughs> Which is a lot those are like the rarest in the game um, It's pretty fun pro tip with your prismatic shards though if you get them um, you can use one of them to get like a really fancy sword in the desert. You can place them in a certain spot to get a really fancy sword. Why have I got such bad luck? Um, seven levels, okay. Or, uh, and, and you can donate one of them to the museum, I mean. But you should, if I were you, I would probably uh, get the sword first and then donate it to the museum with your second one. Because the sword is going to help you so much in, in the skull caverns. But anyway, you can get, you can get them. You'll get more of them, don't worry. Next Animal Crossing Island is like farm core slash Stardew themed. That would be funny. I would I would be down to do that. I wouldn't be opposed. Oh my gosh, why am I getting such bad luck? You married Sebastian first? It's so fun. I like looking back on like those the first time I played this game. Fa Another prismatic shark! <laughs> I got three! Of course it's open down here at the bottom. Froggy, Demi, Lavender, thank you for the subs again, by the way. I got three. You married Shane first? I think my sister married- oh, my inventory's full. I think my sister married Shane first. Um, I've already got that, too. Give me this little thing. Um, I like Shane, though. He's cool. Oh, Alex. No, my sister married Alex first, and then she married Shane the second time. Or maybe she married Alex and then regretted it and wanted to marry Shane. I don't remember. <laughs> Me and my sister- ANOTHER PRISMATIC SHARD! I've got four! It's only 6 p.m. This is so fun. Anyway, um... You feel guilty for befriending Shane just to get the blue chicken? You shouldn't! Take advantage of him. Get the stuff you want. Yeah, Shane is kind of mean at first. A lot of the villagers are kind of grumpy at first, though. I, I kind of like that about this game. Like, people aren't just immediately nice to you. I mean, a lot of them are, but a lot of the people that you can date um, sort of have to, like, warm up to you, and I, I quite like that. It's sort of fun when the villagers are mean to you. It makes it more exciting. A lot of the characters in Stardew are pretty complex. Like, they have sort of interesting backstories that I think makes the game more fun to play. Um... Okay. 84. It's only 650. That's pretty good. I shouldn't have placed that. Grab my gold. Thank you. Shane was the first cutscene you saw. Oh yeah, that's that's probably sort of a shocking um especially cuz a lot of people think this game is like I don't know, different, <laughs> like very cozy and cutesy and like a kid's game is kind of like what I think a lot of people's uh, outsider opinions are of Stardew. So that probably was like a shocking cutscene to get um, with Shane's backstory as the first one you encountered. Um, that couldn't be more wrong. I know, <laughs> but a lot of people think that. Um, it is a cozy farming game, though. Boyfriend won't play? Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Dan plays Stardew with me sometimes. Um, I've, I've convinced him to play with me. Dan likes Stardew. I think he just doesn't like playing games that he doesn't know that well. Um, which I, I understand. <laughs> it's hard to play games, especially on stream when you're sort of new to them. Um, but Dan likes Stardew. Play We've got a, we have a co-op farm. Um, it was kind of fun us trying to get married in the game, too, because it's harder to marry, like, co-op players than it is to marry, uh, the NPCs. Oh, jeez. Um, so it was kind of fun. You to get a prophetic shard to do that. And, you know, I only have four that I got today, so. <laughs> um, really, Jay? I, I like the Harvest Moon Story of Seasons games. I, I haven't played them in a while. This is the thing. There's too many games that I want to play and not enough time to play them. I think we all encounter this problem. Um, but I like the Story of Seasons games. I've had a lot of fun playing those. Oops. I did see the baby that Dr. Gluon built for the stream tomorrow. <laughs> 
tomorrow night. I'm streaming twice tomorrow um, at the regular time and then again with Gluon and some friends. Um, but Dr. Gluon built a... Um, a baby in The Sims. It's, it's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> um, you'll, I think you'll like it. Oops. Come on. Give me a hole. No. No hole. Um, hello, Daniel. Hello. You want to play Stardew? I've not played this game in so long. Well, do you want to play? Right now? I don't know. I'd go into our co-op save if you wanted to. <laughs> we don't have to, though. Maybe. Built a baby how? A ba a house in the shape of a baby. You'll see. It's quite interesting. <gasps> go, 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 go. Oops. Eat, 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 eat. It's 10 p.m. I'm on level 94. Go, 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 go. I've got four prismatic shards. Nice. I know. Oh! Six levels. Yay! Hey, hey. Five Omni Geodes. Oh, didn't they add that recently? Yeah. Well, at least you get something at level 100. Yeah, you didn't used to. You used to, the second time you came back to level 100, there used to be nothing there. Yeah. But now there's stuff there. Scaries, shoo. Ooh, more spicy eel. Run, 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 run. Dan, are we still gonna make my cake today? Yeah. Okay, good. Do you still wanna make a frog cake? Well, you wanna make a frog cake. I know, I'm just, do you have any other ideas for no, my cake? I have no ideas. Okay. I think I still wanna make a frog cake. That sounds fun. Uh, no, I don't think that co-op is, is compatible cross-platform. I don't think you can play like on console and on PC, unfortunately. Um, you can play split screen though, which might help, but yeah, you can't, um, it's not compatible cross platform, unfortunately. Um, found out the ducks in the Stardew swim and it made you so happy. Oh, that is, no, that's fun. I, when I learned that, I was also very excited about the ducks swimming. Oh, it was open the whole time. I'm gonna use Mega Bomb. Yes. I love Mega Bombs. Kaboom! Come on, gimme, 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 gimme. I'm just gonna stay until 2 a.m. when I pass out, I think. This is a better level for Iridium. I might actually just try and get the Iridium on this level. Ah, I got a fifth prismatic shard! <laughs> it's so fun. Thank you. Thank you. Let me up, let me up, let me up. I've got five just in today. <laughs> I like how, did you leave? He was just standing above my shoulder watching. He loves Stardew Valley. <gasps> I got a sixth prismatic shard. <laughs> That's so fun. Stop hitting me. Okay, run. See if I can get another one on the next level. Oh, bad level, bad level, bad level. Don't do the spinnies. Come on, come on. I want a prismatic shard. Please, 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 please. Hacker. <laughs> no, it's just a good luck day. So, and I've got, I'm eating spicy eel. I've got, the most I ever got in one day was six. Come on. I wasted that bomb. Any? It's 1 a.m. You pass out at 2 a.m. Please, I want another prismatic shard. Aw, oh, Bessie's, I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna happen for us. Yeah, today's a good luck day. Oh my god, don't die! Stop, 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 stop! You have enough. <laughs> oh, I got a prize. A seed maker. Um, kill the slime. Come on. 
Give me one, please. None there. No, I won't get it. It's okay. <laughs> we'll pass out and that's fine. No, I won't get it on this level. Just get some more rubies or something. <gasps> Maybe? Maybe? I don't think it's gonna blow up before- Oh no! <laughs> I only got six. <laughs> Emma, Kendi, Bruin, Sunshine, Kaylee, and Amy, and Bite, and Sasquatch, and Alicia, thank you for the subs. That was fun. I love that. I love that. Only? <laughs> hey, Brand again, by the way. It's good to see- Oh! I said, by the way, that's your username? That's good, because I used them all recently. Now I've got 11. Yeah, you just lose money if you pass out. I don't really need the money, so. Yeah, only six. That's rookie numbers right there, yeah. <laughs> okay, let me get my tools back. Please come back. Thank you. Oop, stay. Oh, God. So much mess. So much mess. Um. Go away. You can stay in there. I've got too much stone, too. I need to sell some things, besties. I need to sell some things. We have to remove some items. Or get some more chests. This is not gonna work. No, I'm not trying to 100% this save. I, I, I did that last time. This save, I'm more trying to focus on uh, things that I never do in Stardew. For example, um, I've never ever gotten divorced in this game. I intend to divorce Abigail, and then I'm going to turn our kids into doves. Um, that's my my current plan at the moment. Um, <laughs> but basically, I'm just working on doing a lot of things that I don't usually do. Um, I dated all of the villagers all at once. Um, before I married Abigail, I, I've literally dated everybody. Got the cutscenes for doing that. Um, but basically, I've just been trying to do all the things that I don't usually do. Yeah, you can turn your kids into doves. You can get rid of them that way if you want. <laughs> it's quite fun. Um, anyway. <laughs> well, so, I've kind of been working on, um, I guess I sort of distracted myself by making a couple, uh, strawberry seeds, but I've kind of been working on- where did I put them all? I've been trying to get, um, my ancient seeds. What I want to do in the spring- I've been billed a thousand gold for this service because I passed out, blah blah blah. Anyway, I've been trying to, um, I've been trying to get enough- ancient fruit to fill up this whole area of the farm so that I can plant just all ancient fruit in the spring. Um, so I'm planting my seeds. Uh, maybe I'll start working on building out this part too. Should we make some more iridium, um, sprinklers? Oh, oh, you know what I should do? Oh my gosh, hang on. I'll show you what I've done. <laughs> wait. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Chaotic. Oh, wait, hang on before I go. Before I go. Make an orchard, maybe? What, of, like, trees for sap and stuff? I've got one in the top left corner. Um, I already have that. And I've got all of the fruit trees planted inside my greenhouse. Um, give this to Krobus. Um, but yeah, I've got, I've got those already. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of space on the Four Corners farm. I don't usually play on Four Corners. But, yay, Stardew Sunday, I know. Then fill it with sheds. Yeah, I should get some more sheds. Um, I'm not really trying to, like, ultimate money this. My more focus is on divorce, which I realize is bad. I could be, like, really maxing out my funds. I could make a lot more money than I am. But I've got a lot of money. And I want to get divorced. So, I hate to say it, but, like, That is kind of a priority. Anyway, Krobus, my dear. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe I'll buy that recipe while I'm here. Should I save it for this? I'll get a return scepter. Divorce and dove children are my, main, are my main priorities. Exactly. I've got money. I've played this game for money so many times. What I want now is divorce and my dove children, and then I can make a new save again. 
Yeah, Tilly, where'd your sub badge go? That's weird. Maybe... I, I wonder if you're actually sub, but the Twitch is, like, is, like, glitching it. Because it's been, like, sub badges have been disappearing and stuff. Um, the past couple days. Like, the other day there was, like, no sub badges in the whole chat because they were all disappearing. Skip. Will the spouse get mad when you get rid of the kids? Honestly, bestie, I don't know. <laughs> How many? I only have two Walmarts. Oh, boy. I haven't tried. Okay. So, here's the current situation. Um, as you can see, <laughs> I've got a significant amount of ancient fruit planted over here. You could plant more. You can, like, totally, um, fill up the whole area with these, but, um, oh, oh, I haven't fixed my sprinklers enough yet. I forgot I was, like, in the middle of doing this. I was in the middle of getting iridium sprinklers, so it's not all filled. Maybe I'll work on this today, then. Hey, guys. Anyway, I'm trying to get ancient fruit to plant on my own farm. One. Oh no, I destroyed one. Hmm. But I've been working on this for a while, so <laughs> as you can probably tell. Uh, in case it wasn't clear. I don't think I want to fix the sprinklers here. I'd rather work on them on my own farm, I think, at the moment. Although, these, it's good to grow things once you have the island unlocked because they grow year-round. There's no worry about seasons. You can plant anything here at any point. Okay, so let's work on our sprinklers and prepping those things at the main farm, and then we can work on getting some more sheds. I want to build, like, maybe... I think I might have one. But maybe I'll get some more and try and fill them all up with, um kegs and then ultimate profit how do you want the island okay so rainbow once you finish the community center or pay off jojo mart um there's like gonna be a quest from willie in the room behind him um and you have to give him a bunch of stuff and then he'll fix the boat and then let you come here that's how it works Missed one over on the left. Oh, did I? I probably missed a few. <laughs> Lil and Agent Rally and Claire, thank you for the subs. Oh, I did miss that one. Thank you. Anyway, the island's kind of fun. There's a lot of stuff to do here. This is um, from an update, so you might not have seen this stuff before. Um, they basically like added a whole lot, like full-on expansion pack to Stardew Valley, except. Um, it's, it was free. <laughs> it was an update. There was so much stuff in this update. It was huge. Um, it's really fun. Okay. Thank you. More seeds. Why aren't some of them watered? Because my um, sprinklers aren't in the right places. I've been like trying to adjust them. You can see I've like, I've got like a mix of two sprinklers. Um, I used to have only these, and then I started replacing them with the iridium, but, like, from over here. And so there's, like, one row where it doesn't match up, but I haven't moved these, because I didn't want to, like, ruin that end. Um, and, like, destroy the whole, where they are. I'll show you. Basically, to fix it, I'd have to, um... Hang on. Like, I'd have to move the sprinkler to be here, but then I have to destroy that fully grown plant, and then plant a fresh one right there. Which bothers me, but I probably should. And then these are all gonna be messed up. But that, that you know, that's the thing. It's just um, in a bad spot because I've been like replacing the small sprinklers with the big sprinklers. But I've been meaning to fix it. It's just halfway done. Okay, but basically there would then need to be a sprinkler right there instead. You see? Come back. Okay. How long have I played Stardew Valley? Oh, I've been playing Stardew Valley for like six years in, in real life. Um, but if you mean today, 
uh, or on stream. I've always streamed Stardew. I just I haven't played it much recently because I've been um, playing too much Animal Crossing. <laughs> uh, but I've always played Stardew. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Goodbye, my little dears. I'm gonna miss you. <sighs> okay. And then we till that, plant that. Place that. Thank you. Okay, make sure I water both of those actually. Stardew is your sad time game. <laughs> Stardew is a good game for that kind of thing. It's very relaxing. It's a nice, um, a nice distraction. I, I very much respect that. I do. My sad time game right now is, uh, uh, what's it called? City Skylines. I've been playing a lot of City Skylines again recently. Why am I an evil farmer? <laughs> because I'm trying to do all the things that are wrong in this game. For example, cheating on the whole town, um, turning my kids into doves, supporting Jojo Mart, <laughs> divorcing my wife after cheating on her for years, <laughs> you know, <laughs> all that good stuff. Um, okay, maybe I will plant another section over here. Just for fun. I like it. Casual, evil stuff, you know? I've basically been trying to play this game in a way that I don't normally- Oh, oh, no. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you just found Tangy as your villager hunting? Oh my god. Pain. <laughs> and you can swish and rain and Eevee and Lil Rue. Thank you for the subs, by the way, everybody. What do I got in here? Any fertilizer? No. I've got some pineapple. I have some more of my stepping stone paths. I can put some of those back. Because they got messed up. Practical Turtle, you can play Stardew on like literally any platform. <laughs> um, Stardew is on PC, I'm playing it on PC, but it's also on Switch, it's on mobile. Um, it's on Tesla. If you have a Tesla, you can literally play Stardew on Tesla. It comes preloaded. <laughs> I always mention that just because it's funny. Like when I say it's on literally every platform, I mean it. Like even your car, if you happen to for some reason have a Tesla. <laughs> it's on literally every platform. So no matter how you play your games, it's on everything. Um, but I always mention the Tesla thing just because it's funny to me. How when I say it's on every platform, I mean it. <laughs> it's on everything. <laughs> um, but anyway, it does. It comes preloaded. Yeah, their Teslas, I guess, have a few games that come preloaded on them. Um, like so, because you know how you can like play games and like watch things while you wait for the car to charge. You can't play it while you're driving. But like it comes with like some things you can do on the screen while it's like charging and stuff, um, including it comes like preloaded with Stardew Valley. So I think the Stardew on it is like outdated though. But I'm I'm not exactly familiar. I'm not exactly an expert with Teslas. Um, in case that wasn't clear, I don't really know much about them. But <laughs> um, I do know that they have Stardew Valley on them. So. That speaks more to my Stardew Valley knowledge than my Tesla knowledge, though. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm just gonna try and use some more of these. Come on. Thank you, thank you. Save yourself $15, buy a Tesla. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you don't- if you don't want to buy Stardew Valley, if you don't want to pay for the game, uh, just buy a Tesla. No, I, I also don't think that Concerned Ape's biggest concern is updating the Tesla version. Probably somebody else ported it too. Just like how mobile doesn't have the 1.5 update because somebody else is porting it to mobile and they've been very slow and he had to get like a new company and like it's behind schedule. That's like not his fault, you know? He's not the one doing it. It's probably very stressful for him. I bet he didn't make this start either for Tesla. Um, so it's probably not exactly a priority to update, so. He has been tweeting this week about how the reason the 1.5 update is delayed on mobile is because he's been working with some people, um, and it's taking- like, the first people he hired didn't do good, so we had to get rid of them and get new people, and it's slow and stuff. Um, there's been a lot of problems with it, basically. Um, 
which must be very frustrating. It must be hard for him because he can't, like, talk about anything without everyone being like, what about 1.5 for mobile? Which I get it, you want the update, but, like, he's he's obviously been working on it, and the reason he's not talking about it is because there's no news, you know? Um, which is frustrating for everybody, but, like, it just sucks. Um, but he did post about it a little bit this week. I feel like um, it's really good of him to to be sort of transparent about that, about his, like, Hey besties, um, I'm working on it. There's been some issues, like, <laughs> um, because when you don't acknowledge it, people assume that like it's not a priority and you forgot. But really, what's happened is he's not he's not been acknowledging it because there's no news, you know. Um, and like, what are you gonna say? Like, there's still no news. <laughs> there's still no news. Um, so you just can't win. You just can't win. But anyway, I feel I I feel stressed for him with that. Um, seems like a lot but anyway especially when it's like a thing that isn't really in your control and he made the whole game by himself like and now he's asked for help and it's kind of gone awry <laughs> so <laughs> literally he made this entire game this one i'm playing right now for pc he made it by himself by himself so you know <laughs> some respect there for that one it's not like he's like some He's not like electronic arts with all of that behind him. Even the soundtrack, yeah, he literally made the entire thing by himself. Um, every every part of it he made by himself. Um, but it's really cool. So, <laughs> anyways, there's bound to be like some differences between this and like a big time, big name sort of game, you know? All right, I'm gonna sell all of the silver and gold of those. And then I want to start getting some stuff ready. I only have three battery packs. Okay. Um, I'm going to make myself some more iron bars overnight. You keep running into Tangy while villager hunting. <sighs> Pain. <laughs> Pain. I want Tangy. I want to run into Tangy while villager hunting. Okay. Do I have a shed down here, maybe? Yes, and I have another barn. I'm gonna have to work on this layout. <laughs> I'm gonna have to think about this. <laughs> that is not my best work. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put, um... I was planning on putting some more crops down here. Unless, do you think I need more crops down there? I mean, I'm gonna have loads, and I've got the whole island, so. Okay, it's getting late. I'm gonna go to bed. Oh, no, I'm gonna take care of this first, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I need to make more, ca more of these kegs. That's my new plan. Um, more kegs. More kegs. What's the point of the slime hutch? Oh, bestie. Honestly, couldn't tell you. The slime hutch, I have not found useful at all. I don't have a need for that much slime. I only bought it because I never have had one. I never used the slime hutch, so I was like, oh, maybe I'll get a slime hutch. I don't even go in there. <laughs> Truly, I don't have an answer for you. <laughs> I never use the slime hutch. Um, but you can have pet slimes with it, you know, it's great. But yeah, I don't really use it. I don't really feel a need for it. I don't, it's not good for my min-maxing, so. I don't need the slime hutch. Okay. Um, we need to, like, rethink this farm a little bit. Because at the moment, it's not my best. Like, I don't really have things in a, oh... Okay, good. I've got enough star fruit to plant in here again. Um, let me just grab them all. Anyway, I need to think about this in a way that's a little bit better for for me. Um, because, like, for example, all my chests are laid out like in a row, but that's not good for if I want to craft with them. 
So maybe I could find a new spot to put them that's a little bit more useful for, for such things. You know? That's the idea. You can plant trees in the greenhouse, Simphi. You don't need to do anything special. Um, as long as you have the greenhouse, you can put the fruit trees in there. That's actually probably a pretty good pro tip if you didn't know that. Because um, the fruit trees only bear fruit in certain seasons outside, but in the greenhouse, they bear fruit all year. Um, so if you haven't done that, highly recommend. Okay, come here. Thank you. Um, what's in my mail? A quest for Willy, okay. I've inspired you at Stardew time, <laughs> nice. Oh, sorry, Melzi, the bot always deletes, when people do that, I think, are you trying to put like a flag emoji? Is that why it does that? I never understood that. The bot always deletes though. You didn't do anything wrong, Melzi. The bot just deletes though. I don't know how to stop it from doing that. But it always deletes messages like that. Um, but that's not your fault, you didn't do anything wrong. That's like the bot being weird. I don't know what setting- I must have a weird setting on MooBot, but I don't know how I did that. Like, I don't know how to turn it off, so... But you didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> um, sorry to alarm you, if I did. Um... Okay, put, um... Oh, those seeds in there. Okay, let me sell these quickly, too. Alright. Next, uh, like I said, I wanted to put, like... I wanted to move my chests, basically, to be somewhere a little bit more useful. This item, this workbench, lets you craft um, using things that are near you. Uh, I don't have a lot of space for it, though. So I'm trying to find a spot that's, like, useful. Maybe somewhere central, like down here, could be good, and we can put the chests around it. Um, can I use it from that side? Okay, good. Um, we can put the chests, like, around it on those sides, and then I can craft out of the chests. That could be good. Okay. Um... One flag is fine, but when there's more than one flag back to back, it deletes. Is that what it does? Why? What setting do I have that, like, what? There must be some weird, um, let me look at my, um. I know, I literally, I genuinely cannot think of a reason that the bot would do that. That's so weird. But it's it's not, it's just like the flag, like, emojis, like, from your phone. And when they're back to back, it does it, but I don't know how to stop it. Um, it's a setting to remove symbols for spam purposes. Oh, it's the symbol setting? Because, mm. um, I have that kind of thing on to, sp that's the same thing, to stop with, like, those people that spam, um, like, pictures and stuff. But it must be, like, the most of the symbol setting, but I don't know how to stop it from doing that. But people come in and they put, I hate to, I hate to bring up Shrek's Blooming Onion again. But, like, in the mobile emojis, it's counting as symbols. And that's why it's doing that. But I hate to bring up the Shreks, but, like, that's what I'm talking about. Um. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, it, when people, like, put, you know when they make, like, hobby pastas with, like, the symbols that make, t like, pictures? Um. A lot of times they put, like, big giant walls of text that, like, make, you know, an image of Shrek's body parts or other such things. And I don't really want that to happen in my chat, so I've got, like, settings to turn off symbol spam, but then, like, it, it stops random things that it probably shouldn't be sometimes, and I don't know how to make it not do that, so. Anyway, um, that's the problem with bots, is that there is no nuance. <laughs> Um, okay. Oh, I didn't make enough. That's my bad. 
Okay, cool. So I'm gonna do this because then when I put stuff in the chest, it will um, save everything for me. Okay, let me get an extra like backup chest that I can just dump all my stuff in really fast. And then we can rethink this. I'm organizing my chests now. Yeah, you'd probably have to whitelist all of them. And the thing is, it's it's just the emojis. It's like the emojis from your phone. Um, and so I can't even see them, by the way. When you type it uh, in the chat, on my PC, it looks like you're putting just words. Like it puts like an abbreviation of the country and not like the flag. Um, so I can't even see it when you do that. Um, okay, I was gonna get... Um... So much random stuff. All right, let me grab all these things. Am I only playing Stardew Valley today? Yeah, I'm gonna play Stardew Valley just this morning. I'm, I don't usually stream on Sundays, so it's like a bonus stream, basically. Um, but yeah, it's weird. It's, a, it's one of those really weird things that I'm not super sure about why it's happening, but... <laughs> all right, this is for materials like that. And then I'm gonna get a separate chest for things you can mine, because I can have them separately now. Bone fragments should go somewhere else. Um, that seems useful. Okay. Dude, color your chest. Why are you yelling at me, dead wrong? Are you new? <laughs> Those chests are new. I just placed them, like, two seconds ago. I haven't colored them yet. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> I do color my chest. What do you think these are? Um, give me a sec. Okay. Keep all my food up there. I have more batteries in another chest, you think? I might have. I'm not sure. Yeah, I did have some more in this one. Um. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I don't think they were trying to be mean, but I- <laughs> That was kind of an aggressive message. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not sure what color I want to make them yet, so I'm gonna stop. This is gonna be for, um, like, mob-type drops. Things like that. This one is for things I can mine. Um, this one is for things like this. These, like, stuff you can make. Um... Oh, Hope, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait, that's actually really sad. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about that. Genuinely, that sucks. Um, oh, I have, good, I already have 16 more kegs. Oh my gosh. Good work, Simsy. When's this stream over? I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm not sure yet. No, she hasn't popped in, Hope. She hasn't popped in. I don't know if she's around. She's probably busy. <laughs> Um, one of these days we'll get it though. Okay, what's the best layout for kegs in a shed? Kegs in a shed, stardew. Okay, the one I usually do popped up, so that's what I'll do. All right, I'm gonna start from up here then. Come on, come here little guys. Cool, and I don't think to put them yet, so. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> I'm playing Stardew on my PC, Mel's. I pretty much only play Stardew on my PC. I, I've um, had Stardew on my PC for, like, that's how I started playing, obviously, so. Look how useful that is! All my things are in here. Okay. Um, I've got all this hay now. So maybe I'll go put it up here. Oh my gosh, I've got loads of things I gotta harvest. Um... I can probably just dump it there. That'll be good. Do I mod Stardew? You know what? I've actually never uh, played with mods in Stardew Valley. I never have. All right. Put some extra milk in there. Put the extra cheese in there just for now. Honestly, I might take some of that. Let me grab, like... Oh, why haven't I been making more truffle oil? 
What am I doing? Um, let me put... This game can be downloaded on Steam, yeah. I was thinking about putting the truffle oil and the... the mayonnaise in the artisan goods chest I just made. Oh, perfect. More of these, please. Thank you. You prefer the experience of playing Stardew on Switch? Really? See, I I think I'm different. I like playing Stardew on Switch because I like having it mobile, but um, because I've been playing Stardew Valley like on the PC for so long, like obviously since the game came out, um, I think I sort of like playing it on the PC more. Um, okay, put those in there, that in there, that in there. We can get like a little fishy things type of chest. I don't know why I have some of these, but... Fishy things. I'll make that one blue. Um... This one, I'm gonna put plants in. You like both and you have it for both? Oh, I've got it on both too. <laughs> I'm the same way, I've got it on both too. Um, oh my gosh, am I gonna have enough space in my inventory? No. Pain, okay. Oh, thanks, kitten. I appreciate that. Uh, and Destiny, and Jesse, and Skylar, and Big Mama, and Peeve, and Fiery, and Bex, and Tart, and Zoe, and Yellow, and C, and Shannon, and Strawberry. Thank you for the subs. Um, okay. I've got a bunch of extra fruits and various collectibles that I'm trying to save just in case I need them. I also have crops, but those are in a different chest. Um... Put those in my fishy chest. Now, I and mean, that's that's fine. That can all stay for now. I don't have like too much stuff. And maybe I can put seeds. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I have a separate seeds chest. Um, spring seeds, summer seeds, fall seeds, winter seeds. Or extra seeds, I guess, because there's not really winter seeds. I'll put that in there then. Um, okay. That can go in there. I can redo these chests now that I've taken most of the things out of them too, which will be nice. Um, this is my food chest, in case it wasn't clear. <laughs> In case it wasn't clear, I keep all of my foods in there. Okay. You find less already find it overwhelming. There's so much to do and not enough time in the day. Yeah, I mean, it's, I guess it's hard to not think about it that way, but it doesn't have to be overwhelming. Like you can, if you try and think about it more in like a casual game sort of way, you don't have to do all the things in the day, you know? Why don't you put it in the fridge? Uh, you don't have to put it in the fridge. I mean, you can if you like the idea of it being in there, but um, the fridge is good for ingredients. Like, if you've got extra eggs and stuff, because then uh, you can craft out of the fridge to make recipes. Um, but I also prefer to have my food out, because it's easier to access when I'm on the way places. So that's kind of my mindset with it, is I just like having it out. Um, does that make sense? Okay, I'm gonna put, like... Maybe I'll get, oh jeez. No, food doesn't spoil. Doesn't spoil, you don't need to worry about that. Yeah, you can turn your kids into doves to get rid of them, Allie. That's how, that's how you get rid of your children in this game. Uh, you turn them into doves. Not a joke, <laughs> that's true. Um, so if you, if you don't wanna have kids anymore, you can turn them into doves, you can pay to do it. Okay. This is fine. If there's gonna be a Stardew Valley Cup again, would you join? Uh, if they invited me, I would, yeah. I don't wanna like, assume I would get invited though. <laughs> I hope I would, but I don't know. I don't wanna like assume just in case. All right, let's put all my extra tools back in this chest, just for now, for a sec, so I can like think about this. Um, I can put all my warp totems in a chest. Just, oh, that's the wrong one. 
I can put all my warp totems in this chest because that would be useful. I can put all my like skull caverns type stuff like the bombs and things in this chest. I feel like these extra little things can count as tools. This is like for crafted items. You know? I think I've got a thing for clothes inside. Um, I've never actually turned any kids into doves, so I honestly couldn't tell you if your spouse gets upset or not. Um, I've not tried. <laughs> um, so that, that'll be, that'll be new for me as well when I do it for the first time. Um, we'll find out. But I think that they care. I don't know. They don't care? Oh, good. <laughs> Your spouse forgets the kids. Oh, that's the whole point, isn't it? That you can turn them into doves and the spouse forgets about it. Oh, right. That's kind of fun. Yeah, you can get dressers for your clothes. I haven't bought it yet. I've got the furniture thingy, so I can do it for free. Um, sell, sell, sell. Okay. I think I'm going to stick... That's for, like, stuff I need to deal with. That's the easy dumping chest. I haven't dumped Abigail yet, no. Um, I wanna have a second kid first, and she hasn't asked me to yet, so we're waiting. Um, still waiting, all right. All the mine stuff. Mob drops, okay, we're doing okay. Let me put half and half in the food things. Okay, I need to fix this area up here too. Oh, my silo is full. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's good. All right, just put the hay in there, maybe. Maybe. Dude and Caddy and Oli and Lee and Candace and Fire, thank you all for the subs, by the way. Oh, gave me a mixed seed. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, mixed seed. I'm so organized. <laughs> it makes it easier to play when you do it like this, I feel like. Um, I just gotta start memorizing where the new stuff all is, you know? Okay, I keep this cheese on me. I keep this coffee on me. Let me get my tools back out. Um, yeah, Vinna, I know. So if you date everybody all at once, you get like a special cutscene where they all confront you. It's very exciting. <laughs> And that's what I was trying to do. That's what I was aiming for with this. Um, but yeah, if you if you date everybody all at once, you get like a special cutscene. It's quite exciting. Um, so if you didn't know, you could do that. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to date everybody all at once, but no, the game's not in real time. Uh, no, it's it it goes a lot um, faster than that. You can see it. Look at watch it going up to Saturday, at 8 p.m., 8 10 p.m. Okay. I'm gonna make these go in sort of a rainbow order, I think. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, pink, purple. Okay, cool. Um, I probably should swap some of these though <laughs> so that the green's the plants, but oh boy. Let me do that really fast. Let me do that really fast. Okay, this will make more sense in the plants green one. Come here. Oh, I should put those somewhere else. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. All right, that is better. That is way more organized. That looks good. Okay, cool. Cool. Let me get my stuff back. Why not just change the chest colors over? Because I wanted the blue chest to be where my fish are. And it's rainbow, so the green one was going to stay in the middle the whole time. <laughs> Isn't it blue, purple, pink? Do you want me to switch it? Does it really bother you that much? There you go. Okay, let me get all my stuff back, put this away, put that there, that there. Okay, cool. Um, I kind of didn't notice that I had done it wrong, so. 
Oh boy. <laughs> My god, Frank, thank you for the subs. Um have I played on a beach farm yet? Yeah, I did when the update came out. I didn't love it though. I don't think I like the beach farm. I think it's not fun. I like having sprinklers. So the beach farm is unpleasant for me. As a person who likes to have lots of sprinklers because you can't have sprinklers on the beach farm. So yeah, it's called Bezos farm after Jeff Bezos, the evil capitalist, which is sort of the vibes that I'm going for with my, with my farm, evil capitalism. Um, anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, I wanted to get myself, you know what, I might actually craft a bunch more of these furnaces. Um, I think I made too many. But I'm kind of thinking it would be nice to put, like, a bunch of them here so I can get some more stuff out of them. Can you run all below those? Oh, you can't. Do I care that you can't run below them? A little bit. Well, I could do it like that, and then you could get in there and get all of them. Mm. I might swap this. Hang on. Because then you can run down this and get in there, get that one, go around. I don't like it with the two. Never mind. I can't do it. I'll just put six. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, let me craft myself some more of my little paths too. See, it'll be like this. Isn't that nice? I think I have some more up top though. I've been playing this save for a while. I've got like 60 hours in it, Alex, but I've been playing it probably for like a year. I haven't played it in a few months though. We've kind of picked it back up for the first time in a while today. Um, put them in a square and leave a hole in the middle. Yeah, but I don't really want to, I like, I would rather have it like this. I like how this looks better, I think. All right, I wanted to get myself my gold out so I can put it in the furnaces. And I'm gonna do iron up top. I need more of that too. Yeah, the slime hutch is horrible. <laughs> I agree. I hate the slime hutch. <laughs> I really don't like the slime hutch. I'm with you. It's so ugly. Um, okay, put those away. Come on. We're getting there. We're getting through all of my ancient fruit. Okay, now I'm going to make some more kegs. I'm out of copper bars and I can't make more kegs. Okay, <laughs> I thought I had more copper bars than that, but apparently not. <laughs> I have unlocked the island on this save, yeah, Lucy. I've, I've done a lot in the, ooh, wrong place. I've done a lot in this save. Um, let me come in here. You go there, you go there. One, two, three, okay. I need another chest in here too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get this chest back and then I think I'm gonna go try and move some of this furniture and stuff. Okay. Oh, wrong place again. Oh no, I've, I've never had a slime hutch before. I usually um, don't bother with them because I knew that they were stupid. So this is my first time ever having a slime hutch, which is why I want to keep it. <laughs> because it's kind of fun for me. Um, but is it better to focus on the farm or mine? I mean, you need to do a little bit of both to, to make it in this, basically. Um, so the answer to your question, I guess, is both. Um, but early on, you want to you do both, because then you can get, you're going to need both of those things to, to succeed. So, um, but once you get later on, you can, um, kind of pick and choose what you want to do. You can just waste time for all you care. Um, okay. That works. Um, I think I might go, oh, let me, okay. I'm going to go down to the traveling cart and then I'm going to go to Robin and see if I can move some of my stuff.
is the game complicated to learn? Um, yeah, but that's okay. Uh, you don't, you aren't really supposed to play the lot of the way that a lot of people do. Um, if you use the wiki, it'll be a lot easier for you. I don't need any of those things. Um, so you kind of, you might need help with the wiki because then you'll know things like, um, you know, where the villagers are at different times of the day and like what their likes and dislikes are, but you're sort of supposed to like learn as you play. Like you're supposed, you're not really supposed to immediately know what all the villagers like. <laughs> um, you're supposed to kind of just play and find that out slowly, but everyone doesn't really do that. They use the wiki to find out what the best gifts are and stuff. Um, so to that extent, there's some things that are kind of difficult to learn, but it's really fun. Like I really truly actually love this game. Um, and I genuinely recommend it a lot. Um, there's not like a right or wrong way to play. It's, it's very relaxing. It's casual. I like it a lot. Um, Michaela, thank you for the sub gift and the bits and Vane, Thank you for the 18 months. Frank with the seven months. Thank you so much. Um, okay. I'm going to move some things around. Just a pro tip. Don't give villagers sap. <laughs> yeah. Are you okay with people publishing legacy challenges inspired by Nasa Berry? Bestie, of course. I would be a real brat if I was going to throw a fit about that. <laughs> um, the fun part about, um, the fun part about, uh, like, the Sims community and, and doing stuff like that is that I should get a stable. I have one. It's behind my face cam. It's right here. Um, but the fun part about, like, uh, the Sims and, and playing the game in, in ways like that is that everyone's sort of, like, builds on to things together, you know? Like, I, I may have been the one to start it, but we all sort of play together, you know? And that's what makes it exciting. Um, and so I would I would never, like, get angry at someone for, for making a new version of Not So Berry. That would be, like, such a loser thing to do. <laughs> um, okay, well, can I not... It's so big! The slime hunch is so big! I might be okay with it being right there, to be honest. I'm kind of okay with that space being blocked a little. I think that's fine. Um, I haven't done anything with that yet. That'll be okay. Do I use animation canceling after the Stardew Valley Cup? No. Don't tell... Don't tell Habu that, but <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, well, one, I've got, like, really upgraded tools. I don't really need to. Um. Mel, I'm not gonna play Animal Crossing in this stream, no. Um, I, I don't usually even stream on Sundays. I'm just doing kind of a bonus stream today. Um, playing a little bit of Stardew. But no, I'm not, I'm not gonna play anything else today. <laughs> on top of what I'm already playing, no. Um, but anyway, animation canceling is, like, Basically, um, you can, like, trick the game into, uh, I just look it up. I don't, I'm the wrong person to explain this. You can cancel the animation so that it goes a lot faster. Instead of having to wait for it to, like, animate, um, like, the swinging, it just chop, 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 chops the tree. And so you can chop trees fast with, like, low-level axes, basically. Um, but, again, I don't, I'm the wrong person to explain this. I'm not an expert. I'm gonna need more coal. Or, I'm gonna need more, uh, copper, I mean. Um, oh, Ern, I'm playing Stardew Valley. It's a pretty fun, like, farming game, basically, that we're playing today. Welcome, and I'm glad you could make it to the stream today. Um, I'm gonna get some paths. Can I not put the paths there? Oh, that's annoying. That's okay. One, two, three, thank you. I'm probably going to put some chests next to this. Um, maybe some decorations, I don't know. <laughs> I've not really spent a lot of time trying to decorate this farm, if you can't tell. Um, that has not exactly been a priority for me on this one. <laughs> Maybe I will pick up some of this. Mm. Mm. No, I don't have any mods in this game. No, I, I've never modded Stardew. You, there's lots of mods that exist, but I've never actually downloaded any Stardew Valley mods. 
Um, I know, boring, right? <laughs> but I've never actually downloaded any Stardew Valley mods. Um, okay, I want to swap this a little bit. I'm thinking I might put the... the path kind of like... that. I might get some more path in here, actually. A little one tile one might be useful. Hmm. <laughs> Batty, don't like to confess. Michaela, thank you for the subs and bits. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna place a keg outside, Joey. That The tip that Joey said is that uh, you can place an extra keg, like, outside, so you know when all of the kegs inside are ready without having to go in. Um, which is genuinely, like, very useful advice. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna do that too. I just don't have any kegs started in there yet. I wanna get some more first. Um... Okay. Aren't the greenhouse trees a mod? No, no, anyone can place trees inside the greenhouse. That's always been a thing. Anybody can place trees inside the greenhouse. Not a mod. <laughs> I don't have any mods in my game. Um, okay, let me grab a couple more of those. <sighs> Thank you. All right, cool. I don't know what I'm gonna put there, probably nothing. This is uh, Winter of Year Two Wolf that I'm playing on right now. I want to get some more paths going all the way up there. What makes your farmer evil, ma'am? <laughs> um, I've been pl trying to play Stardew in a way that I don't usually. Like, doing all the bad things. You know, Jojo Mart, um, I dated literally everyone all at once. Got a cutscene from doing it where they confronted me. Now I'm gonna divorce Abigail after both of our kids are born, and then I'm gonna turn our kids into doves. Um, that's my plan. I've, I've got evil plans. <laughs> Um, okay, I've got some more iron, too. Uh, well, I'm not gonna stream for too, too long today. I wanted to just pop in for a little bit this morning. Um, but I probably shouldn't stream for a ton of time because, um, well, I got stuff to do today. <laughs> I don't even usually stream on Sundays. Okay, let's make, um some more copper, or some more iron and some more gold ones. I'm almost done. I'm almost done with these. I might stop after that. Michaela, thank you for the sub gifts to Rebecca too. Yeah, I'm gonna bake cake. <laughs> Wait, both kids? Yeah, I'm gonna turn both kids into doves. Bestie, I am... Um, I'm, I'm probably not gonna play this save again after I <laughs> turn the kids into doves. So... Um, when that, or what, once I get Krobus, I guess, that's my next priority. But I'm, I'm probably not gonna keep playing the save after I've done that. Because I want to start a new save and probably go for perfection again, so... Um... I'm, I'm not too overly concerned about that. I hate to say it, but... <laughs> um, I want to get rid of my children, <laughs> just for fun. Alright, I'm out of iron bars now. Well, maybe I'll just stick this here so we remember to put one. And then I will go inside and I will keep placing them. Cool. Cool. Um, <laughs> Jay and Big and everybody, thank you for the subs and stuff. Okay. I'm gonna go to sleep, maybe? I don't really want to start those yet until I get all the rest of the kegs. Tips for perfection, like in terms of getting enough gold. Oh, geez. Fill up the whole island with, um, with, like, ancient fruit or something. And just... Yeah, Desert Koala, I don't want to say what day exactly, because I don't really want people to know where I am at what time. But they scheduled Dan's interview for, like, the middle of April. Uh, happy birthday, Chibi! Oh my gosh! Do you know Hope just came in and she said, has Chibi come for her birthday song yet? And I said, not yet, I think she's too busy. But here you are! <laughs> and you have a resub! Everyone, please, this is very important. It is my, my dear, very close friend Chibi's birthday. <laughs> happy 
Happy birthday, Jimmy! Anyway, I'm playing Evil Stardew. In honor of your day. You know what? I might grab some of my star fruit and go start turning it into wine. That'll be good. That'll be good. Anyway. <laughs> Jay and Big Rochi, everybody, thank you for the subs. Um, I think... I might grab... Oh, my strawberries. I was gonna say I might try and make the strawberries into seeds too, but... Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I will be doing that. I do have a stream schedule. Yeah, I, I stream every day on, um, every day at 4 p.m. Eastern time, except for Wednesdays when I stream in the morning, and I don't usually stream on Sundays. So I'm streaming, like, in the morning today, but usually I'm live at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Um, that's when you can normally expect me. Today's a random stream. <laughs> Today's different. I'm not normally live at this time. It's only, it's only 11 a.m. Eastern time today, and I'm live. Um, let me make some more of this quickly. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I post a schedule with like more specific plans of like what games I'm gonna stream each day. Um, I post that in the Discord on the weekends. Um, so if you're ever looking for information like that, I usually put it in the Discord. Oh, it's your birthday on Tuesday. I can sing you a song, Desert. Happy birthday. <laughs> uh, I don't know how long I'm gonna stream for today. Probably not too, too long. Um, because I want to, I want to bake a cake. Truthfully, I'm baking a cake. Also, yes, today is uh, Animal Crossing's um, anniversary. It's New Horizons anniversary today. Uh, it's been out for two years now, officially, which is pretty cool. I streamed Animal Crossing for uh, seven hours yesterday to celebrate. <laughs> um, okay. Let me get those. One, two, three. Perfect. All right. Let's turn this star fruit into wine, please. I got loads of kegs inside of my house already, but we can get some more out here. Extra money. Cool. I did not find Tangy. No, we're going to have to keep hunting later this week. <laughs> yeah, it came out in 2020. It's been two years. Um, it's wild to think about. Need more baking streams? I know, I should I should plan one. I should plan one. That would be fun. Okay, so new plan. Um Oh, I have an idea. Well, let me make some more of these really fast. The the iron is what's holding me back. So I was gonna think about making Oh my god, I'm out of copper. Oh my god, I have no copper. Oh shoot. Well, I was gonna try and put some more of these on this side of the chest. Um, it's like a little bit uneven, so maybe that's bad. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll get some more next to it instead. Oh, this is a disaster. I know I made some more of them, so I'll go put them down here. But anyway, I should probably do some more baking streams. I'm really excited for when I move to the new house because um, the kitchen is going to be like a lot, well, one, bigger. <laughs> but also it's like better laid out for doing baking streams just because of like the, like there's an island so I can set everything up on there. It's just, I'm going to have way more counter space. It's going to be really nice to set up baking streams in. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, okay, let me put those things away. Let's see if I can make a few more kegs. Yay, I can. And then I'm gonna go, I guess, to the mines and try and get some more copper, because I'm out. <laughs> terrible, terrible. Oh no. Okay, maybe I will put that one right there. It's a little bit more even. We got 10 more, that's pretty good. Is Dan real? Oh, that's a good question. Dan! Daniel! Oh my god, this is a bad time for him to ignore me. Dan! Dan! Uh. Yeah. What? <laughs> he's playing Dead by Or he's probably playing Call of Duty or something, so he's got his headphones on and I can't 
He can't hear me, but I swear he exists. <laughs> That's really funny though. Of course he chooses now to not answer. No, he answered. He screamed what? Did you hear him? He's real, I swear. Okay. This will be good. We got a ton of stuff. I've got a bunch more. And now I can go probably to the- oh my god, more. Okay, now let me see if I can craft some more. Now I'm out of copper bars, okay. <laughs> Great. I don't have enough copper though, I literally have four left, so. Alright, let me go place these back in there. Did I say no to the farm pet? No, I've got one. I've got a cat called Jeff. Don't worry. I have a cat. I didn't say no to it. Oops. Put that up there. Almost there. Just need a couple more. Well, well then I probably should upgrade the shed, too. <laughs> so I guess we need a lot more than that. But we have these for now. So this will be good. We'll get it started. At least. All right. And I guess, let me just grab these quickly, then we can go to the mines. I can put my strawberries away and those seeds. That'll be good. All right, let's go to the mines. Let's go to the mines. Little Witch Simulated Sarah, Ale, and, and Michaela, thank you for the bits and subs, everybody. Um, no, Eve, you get all the emotes. <laughs> If you are a sub, you've got all of the emotes. Prime subs are the same as regular subs. Um, prime subs are the exact same as regular subs. Check the shed diagram again. Oh, I know, I'm supposed to double- I'm supposed to double barrel them. It's supposed to be like this, but I wanted to fill it up and just do it like this for now, I'll show you. It's supposed to be like this, double barreled like this, but I'm gonna wait until I upgrade the shed to do that. I did it like this on purpose, don't worry. Um, sorry, I probably should have said that. Um, let me go to the mines. Actually, is there any copper in the quarry by any chance? Special stone? That's gold. Wish the game had better graphics? What do you mean? <laughs> it's this style on purpose. You might not like it, but it's it's this style on purpose. Oh yeah, Eve. Oh my gosh. Yeah, your sub is you aren't sub right now. You aren't sub right now, that's why, that's why. Uh, you're, you have to manually renew Prime subs. They don't auto-renew, so every 30 days it expires and you have to resub. It's really weird, but that's that's why you can't see the emotes, because you're not subbed right now. It expired. But yeah, this game is uh, like this on purpose. It's these graphics on purpose. Um, you might not like it, <laughs> but um, it's supposed to be like this. They aren't like bad graphics. It's like an 8-bit sort of style. Um, also, I don't know if you knew this, but one one guy made the entire game all by himself. Graphics, music, programming, story, ev literally everything about this game. Um, Concerned Ape is, is his username. He made it all by himself. The quarry rocks do respawn, yeah. Okay, there's no... I'm not getting any copper. That's cool. I shouldn't have come to the early levels. I should go higher up. Um, ID and Judah, thank you for the subs. Let's go to 15, maybe. No copper? <laughs> no, okay, that's cool. That's really good. That's really good. Anyway, Stardew's like one of my absolute favorite games of all time. I really like this game. It's very fun for me. It's very cozy. I have a lot of fun playing it. Reset 21 for copper? That's a good idea. Um, Seventeen. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got the slime ring. Um, so the slimes don't hurt me. Sorry, that's probably confusing. But yeah, the slimes don't hurt me. Um, I haven't bought the Mario Kart DLC yet, but I want to. There's no copper. The night market is now open. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, wait, it's the first night of the night market. Oh, I should go. Let's go. Forget the copper. Let's go. Hey, Kayla, what's up? I hope you're doing well. Um, you have so much money from the save, why don't you buy it from Clint? That's a good question. And the answer is that I don't want to support him. Yeah, I know copper's level 2 to 39. Thanks for thanks for telling though, Arius, so that people so people in chat if they didn't know they can know. Um But Kayla, thank you for the 15 month resub, by the way. Oh my goodness. Um, okay. Let's see. I have come to the night market to get my prizes. Hello. I'm gonna get my coffee first. Oh, sorry. Don't mean to yawn, my bad. I do care for a cup of coffee. Thank you for the offer. Okay. What do you have for me, my dear? I was actually thinking about getting um, some more like seasonal plants. Cause I wanted to put like um, some more things around my farm. So I can just buy a bunch of them, why not? Sounds like I need coffee in real life. I don't even drink coffee <laughs> in real life. Ooh, little cloud painting. I'll buy it. <laughs> yeah, you can have more than one save on this. You can have as many saves as you want. Sorry, I hiccuped, that's disgusting. You can have as many saves as you want on the, on Stardew. Let me get a stone frog or two. Okay. You're drinking coffee right now? Nice. <laughs> no, I don't even drink coffee. Abby, thank you for the six months, by the way. I think I already did the mermaid. Okay, well, I got my stuff. I don't really feel like doing any fishing, so maybe I'll leave. Yeah, I might leave. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. Yeah, if you could have as many saves as you want in Animal Crossing, my life would be a lot better. <laughs> but you can have as many saves as you want in Stardew. It's just like, you know, a regular game where you can just have saves, you know? Um, well, I don't really need to do the Mermaid again. Deluxe Baby is the thing. Um, so I just won't bother. I just won't bother. Okay. I'm gonna go back, dump all of my things off, and then I maybe I'll just go to sleep. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't get any coal, so I can't even turn this into... You're streaming on Sunday? I am. <laughs> I am streaming on a Sunday. Shocking, I know, I don't normally stream on Sundays, but I'm here today. All right, let me get some gold. I think I'm gonna put the gold in these overnight because they take longer. Um, okay. Well, I was thinking about putting a couple really cute things like this little frog statue and then some random little plants down here next to this. They don't look like much fun because it's only the winter. But it will be fun. Mark my words. It will be. <laughs> I just haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> but it will be fun. Um. I don't know where else to put anything. Put a little snowman back there. It won't be a snowman always. It just looks like a snowman right now. I don't know. That'll do. That'll be fine. I'll go stick with my decorations. Oh, I know you can scroll too far with tab. I just, I just, I'm so used to moving things that I kind of like forget. I know you can do that though. I just kind of like don't. <laughs> It's the same reason where, like, sometimes I don't use hotkeys in The Sims 4. I know you can use hotkeys to, like, uh, I don't know, grab the sledgehammer in The Sims 4. Sometimes I just grow up and grab it. I don't know. 
I know you can, and I do sometimes. Other times I move things. I don't know. It's like <laughs> I don't have an answer for why. I just do. <laughs> um, anyway. I'm gonna check really fast, actually, on these. Nope, not yet. Not yet. Not Iridium quality yet. Soon, though. This is my evil farm gen, the one where I've been trying to bother everybody. Ooh, fried calamari. No space for my fried calamari. Okay, sell the Joja Cola then. Yeah, the winter is 28 days long, so um, the winter will be over at the end of 28 days. It's on day 16 right now. Unfortunately, it's going to be winter like all stream. <laughs> um, okay. Maybe I will go buy some copper from Clint. It goes against all of my morals, but maybe I will go do that today. Oops, wrong thing. Could be nice. Maybe I'll put this painting in my uh, new shed. <laughs> that could be cute. Oh, can't center it though. Sneaky Nanny, thank you for the subs, by the way. What year is this? It's uh, winter of year two, so it's almost year three. We're coming up on year three here. Come on. Uh, Clint's a uh, creep. <laughs> Clint's a creep, and also the, the my beef with Clint is that he's very expensive to buy stuff from, so I don't really want to have to buy copper from him, but I will. Only a bad person would buy from Clint. Good, good point. That's the whole goal of this um, evil save anyway. So you're right. Seashell, don't worry, don't feel bad. I, um, I, I play this game a lot. I have a lot of experience in it. I literally won an esports tournament of it. Not because I'm that good, but because my team was. Um, but I, <laughs> I've like speed ran Animal Crossing before, sorry, Stardew Valley before, so. Uh, don't feel bad if you have less items than me. <laughs> I just play this game a lot. And I've I've learned from literally the best <laughs> with those speedrunning tournaments, so. Um, you know, I've, I've got that in my belt, so. Anyway, Moonlight and Hannah, thank you for the subs, by the way. Not, I've not speedrun Animal Crossing, but I have speedrun um, Stardew Valley. Yeah, Emily wasn't originally someone that you could marry, but now, um, now that you can, Clint's dialogue about her is kind of creepy, because Clint's, like, obsessed with her, and it gets weird when you, like, date her, so. Um, it's kind of odd. That'll, that'll do, that'll do. Would I consider doing the Stardew Valley Trials? I got asked to do it, but I told, um... I told him that I was too busy because I've been so, like, I've had so much going on with, um, like, the the house renovations and stuff. Like, I've spent a rough few months. <laughs> it's been a rough bit here, but um, maybe next time. Maybe next time. But I, that's why I didn't do it this time because I was busy. Too busy. Too stressed. But they were fun. I watched them. They were really fun. Um... Pink, thank you for the bits. Beth, thank you for the bits, too. Okay, let me go. Anyway, <laughs> when I say I'm a speedrunner, I'm not, by the way. I'm literally not a speedrunner. I just, um, I did a Stardew Valley Cup recently. Uh, my team won because it, it, Habu was on it. Uh, <laughs> Brannigan's here. Brannigan's on my team, too. Um, let me see. I'll keep those things too. Just save some extras just in case. Probably don't need to, but won't hurt. But you like to go fast. That's basically speed running. Yeah. Um, sure. <laughs> All right. Stick those things away. Stick those things away. I will stick this away. Okay, cool. That's looking pretty nice. Now, I think I want to work on making some more farm space. Um, I think that's my new plan. 
So if I could get like five Iridium sprinklers, I know I have one already. Oh, did you really hang out with my IRL this weekend? Oh, that's so fun. I'm jealous. That's pretty fun. I'm glad you guys got to hang out and meet in person. That's pretty cool. Had you met them before? Or was this like a first time getting to meet? Um, cause that's really fun. I'm glad you got to hang out. That's really cool. Um, I think, let me grab a bunch of these rustic plank floors. And I will place them. I was thinking about putting it down here, honestly. I don't know if I should, but that was kind of my first thought. One, two, one, two. Place it right there. Um, one, two, one, two. Place it right there. One, oops, right there. Right, one, two, one, two, yeah. One, two, one, two. Place it right there. Is that far enough? Is that enough space to get? I don't think so. One, two. Wait, one, two. Place it right there. No, I can't. I can't do it in a way that is not ugly. Okay, let's think about this again. Let me just put this all the way down, maybe, and then we could put like one centered with its own sides and then we can put these that might be good one two place that there one two one two place that wait one two no there okay one two three four that could be nice if we did it like this I like the concept. I don't know if I like them being here. <laughs> that's not a great spot for that, but that's okay. That's fine. Random empty space, that's fine. All right. Let me see if I can get, what? One, two, three, four more. I hope so. I don't know if I have enough Iridium sprinkler or enough um, battery packs, I mean. I don't know if I can. But I'll try. Oh God, I only had enough to make two more. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, we can put some lightning rods in those empty spaces. Okay, so that presents, presents us with a new problem. I am not doing good. I am not doing good. Oh, you like my workbench? Thank you, I just placed it today. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'll leave this in the middle for now and we'll get the two sides done. That could be good. That could be good. And we can leave the middle empty for now and we can always add to it later on. That'll do. I like the concept. All right, I'm gonna go put some more copper in those. I would like to make, I need more coal. Oops, wrong thing. Oh, that's true. I could put the solar panels in the desert. I don't think I have the solar panel recipe though. I don't remember. I can make some more lightning rods though. Oh, I should get some lamp posts. I don't have any battery packs. Um, I can also get some sprinklers from Krobus. We got options, don't worry. Oh, and I would not say the slime building is worth it, no. <laughs> the slime building is so dumb. <laughs> you might have a very specific need for it, but I don't, I don't. Um, I only got it because I never buy it. So I bought it this time just for fun to be like, oh, look, I'll get the slime thing this time. I don't really need it. Um, okay, let me get two more kegs. And then I'm gonna expand the shed again. Hey, Shells, what's up? Good morning, I'm old, you say. I didn't do this right. We need to put, um, you need to double layer those, but I'm gonna expand the shed so I have to get rid of these kegs anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. Place maybe a little bit more. Oh my god, I'm out of coal. Oh no. Tier 3 55 month resub though. Chelsea, thank you very much. <laughs> that is very kind. I'm gonna make some more iron ones next. As soon as this is done. Um, 
Yeah, I guess it's a nice way to kill some more slimes to get the ring faster. I guess that's one way of looking at it. I just don't really feel like I need the slime hunch. <laughs> and I think it's ugly. It kind of ruins my vibes, you know? Okay. Um. This will be good for now. Let me go back to the night market and then just go to sleep, honestly. Oh, I didn't get those. That's fine. Yeah, some slime eggs sell for a lot, but it's just not a thing that I'm interested in. I, I spend a lot more time- oh wait, let me bring a present for Krobus. I spend a lot more time, um, doing crops and stuff. I don't really care about the slimes. It's just not, like, a thing that is important to me. Is Lil Simsy in her variety streamer arc? Bestie, I've always played Stardew on stream. <laughs> Since I literally first ever started streaming, I've played Stardew on stream. So this this isn't quite new for me. Um, I, I've played Stardew a lot longer than I played Animal Crossing, obviously, because Animal Crossing was only came out two years ago today, for New Horizons at least. Um, I've always played Stardew on stream. Stardew and Sims have been my my mains. I haven't played Stardew in a few months though on stream, but um, Stardew and Sims have been my mains. And now Animal Crossing is in the mix, <laughs> so... Um, okay. Let me go down and give this diamond to my bestie. When do I stream Sims 4? Most of the time I stream Sims 4, Nat. I'm gonna stream Sims 4 tomorrow. Twice. I'm gonna stream Sims tomorrow twice, actually. Um, okay. Let me give this to my bestie. Eventually I'm gonna make him move in with me. It's gonna be great fun. And I'm gonna get my return scepter one of these days. It's your birthday. Hey, Context, happy birthday. I can sing you a song. Uh. <laughs> Am I still doing Sims Medieval? Bestie, this is the thing. There's so many games that I want to play and there's only six days a week that I stream, except for today when I'm live on a Sunday when I'm not normally. But that's the thing, like I, I there's so many games that I want to play. <laughs> it's hard to find the time to, um, to, to play them all, you know? <laughs> Um, okay, let me grab this. Do you think I'll ever stop playing Animal Crossing now that more, no, no more new content is coming out? You think I'm gonna stop playing Animal Crossing? I'm not gonna stop playing Animal Crossing. Look at me. <laughs> I'm obsessed. <laughs> No, I'm never gonna stop playing Animal Crossing. Um, that, that's not for me to stop. I'm gonna grab that suit of armor and the stone parrot maybe. Those are cool. We've got so much to do still in Animal Crossing. Just because they're not adding any more new content doesn't mean that I'm not having fun. <laughs> and I'm not doing new content, you know? Um, what about Among Us? We're planning one for the next couple weeks, Rob. We're still trying to figure out a day that works for everybody. It's hard to get together a group of 10 people to play. Um, we try and do it like once a month, so soon. I just gotta figure out a day still. It's not just up to me though. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of people that have to be to be involved in the scheduling of that one, obviously. Um, okay. I'm scarily good at being imposter in Among Us. <laughs> I'm getting better. I've been I've been I've been trying. I'm getting better for sure. Um, I'm just gonna dump... Let's see... Where's my little... I don't have a little furniture chest. Do I really not? Oh boy. Well, let me get this really fast. First. I should let all of these catch up to the same time. It's so annoying how they're not. Um... Do I still enjoy Fall Guys? Of course I still enjoy Fall Guys! This is the thing! I know nobody means any harm with it, I'm not like offended by the question, but like, this is the thing, there's so many games I want to play, I just can't play all of them at once, I mean like... <laughs> there's, there's so much that I want to do and not enough time in the day to do it, you know? Um... Alright, go to sleep. Go to sleep. If only I could stream all day, every day. <laughs> Um, anyway, Kay's, Sims, and, and, uh, Context, thank you for those subs again, by the way. Oops. 
Oops. I'm gonna go check on this again. Please, 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 no. Yeah, Kaden, I'm really excited about uh, Concerned Apes' new game. I will absolutely play it when it comes out. <laughs> I've been playing Stardew Valley for like forever. I'm you're not gonna catch me not playing the new the new game he's making. I guarantee I'm gonna like it, so. Alright. I have heard of, I've played Human Fall Flat. I've never streamed it, but I've played it. Um Okay. The next thing I wanted to make was some more lightning rods. I've got a bunch already, but it won't hurt to get some more. I need to get some more refined quartz. So many games, so little time, exactly. Cool, that'll be useful. Well, we're doing pretty good, besties. We're doing pretty good. Now what? <laughs> and now what do I do? <laughs> I hate the winter. Okay, oh, you know what I need to do actually is fix my fences. Oh, geez. Let's do that. Let me get those. Sims 5 soon too, right? Ah, I don't think so. <laughs> no, I really sincerely don't think so. Listen, besties, I, I look forward to a new Sims game as much as you do, but I think she's years away, years away. I think they're working on it, but I don't think it's gonna come out anytime soon. Um, I, I really don't anticipate that coming out literally anytime soon. <laughs> um, anyway, I think that's going to be years away. And that's going to take them a very long time to, to develop, so that, that's going to be a while away for sure. Um, okay, I probably will move this. I'll probably move the barn to be up here. Um, I don't know where to put, like, I don't know what the best thing to do is. I might, like, move it so both the barns are in this area and the coops are both in the same place. So we could put the coops somewhere else, like, maybe below. And have both the barns up there. Well, I only have one coop, but I think that might be better. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should make some more, just so that it doesn't drop the seeds, because that's annoying. Yeah, I probably should put little paths in between them all. Maybe I'll do that now. Let me go get all my seeds. Anyway, they're not, they're they're probably working on The Sims 5, but I think that's going to be years and years till it comes out. Someone asked if I'm going to keep playing The Sims 4 when The Sims 5 comes out. Bestie, it would be really stupid to, to just drop The Sims 4 <laughs> as soon as The Sims 5 comes out. Um, I'll probably do a mix, um, like you probably will as well, um, in your own personal gameplay. And then um, maybe eventually, slow, like kind of like how The Sims 3 happened. People sort of transitioned out of The Sims 3 slowly as The Sims 4 got more and more and more content. Um, but early on, there's not going to be a lot in The Sims 5, probably. <laughs> it's going to be like, um, probably kind of lacking, so. <laughs> yeah, I do have the auto petters in the barns, I do. Uh, very useful to have. I'm going to get another mayo machine. And then I might get myself some more wood. Oh, am I out of wood? Oh god. Oh, besties. We're gonna have to work on that next. We are gonna have to work on that next. Um, but yeah, there's- The Sims 5 is gonna have, um... Like The Sims 4, it'll- It won't have, like, pets or anything, probably, when it first comes out, so... There's gonna be a lot of things about The Sims 4 that we're gonna like better probably still in the beginning. And also, um, I like The Sims 4. I'm not just gonna stop playing it. I'll probably always play The Sims 4. I mean, I still play The Sims 3. So. That's my thought process, though. Oh, jeez, I didn't fix this side at all. This is annoying. <laughs> I won't lie, this is a little bit annoying. Okay, is there space for two of them? Yes, space for two of them there, okay. I can move this little owl statue and I can put this next to it. Wrong spot. 
Okay, that works. <sighs> Boy, I need some more wood though. Um, I just watered that. Stop! <laughs> Carly, killer best Pippa, thank you for the subs. Um, let's go to the quarry, maybe. And, oh, actually, I might make myself a couple more oil makers. Just, like, two more really fast, just to get up here. Um, I think that would be a good touch. A couple extra things. And then we can go to the quarry and see if I can plant some trees and also chop some trees. Because I want some more wood. Uh, massive thanks for the sub gift! I appreciate that. Okay. I'm gonna go... Up, up, up. Let's see if I can chop some things. I might chop those if I need to, but I'm hoping that I've got some trees planted in the quarry that I can get. And then maybe I can chop some more. There's literally just one. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, I've played The Sims 2, May. I, I didn't play The Sims 2 when I was younger, though. Like, I didn't have a computer or anything when, when The Sims 2 was around, and I was also, like, seven. Um, The Sims 3 came out when I was nine, so I never played The Sims 2 as a kid. Um, I didn't have, like, older siblings that were playing The Sims, so I, I never played The Sims 2 when I was young. I've played The Sims 2 as an adult, um, and I've streamed it a few times, but I, I don't have that same, like, um, nostalgia for The Sims 2 that a lot of people do. I do like it, don't get me wrong, it's pretty fun, but, um, yeah, I, I didn't play it when I was young. My main game was The Sims 3. That was my first Sims game. Okay, I'm just gonna plant a bunch of trees up here, so hopefully that we can get some more wood out of them. Sims 2 is wild. It's actually a really hard game, too. Like, compared to the newer ones, it's actually, like, hard to keep your Sims alive and, and thriving. <laughs> Which is kind of exciting. I, I sort of like that about it. Okay. Let's just run around chopping then. I've got 29 pieces of wood and that's it. Literally just 29, so. Could use some more. That would be good. Yeah, Sims 2 is way harder than Sims 4. It is fun though. We should stream it again sometime soon. I should play Sims 3 again sometime soon. I love the Sims 3. It's so fun. It's so fun. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, back to the conversation of there's a lot of things I want to stream and not a lot of time to stream them all. <laughs> there's so many games I want to play. Um, okay. I will get this. There's not enough wood. Simone was in Harvard. You didn't have any days off work in Sims 1? Oh, I don't think I knew that. You had no days off work in Sims 1? Sims 1 was weird. <laughs> in a lot of ways. Um, yeah, I, I also haven't played The Sims 2 Castaway Stories. Uh, I've played, we've been playing a lot of Sims Medieval on stream recently, which is kind of feeling that Sims 3 fix, even though Sims Medieval is not The Sims 3 and has nothing to do with The Sims 3. It is not similar at all. They just are the same engines. They look similar. Um, I've been thinking about playing Unpacking. I, literally, I was thinking that I might play Unpacking next weekend. Um, I need to look at my schedule again, but I was like, maybe I'll do a bonus stream next Sunday again and play Unpacking. Because that would be fun. That would be fun. The night market is now open. Okay, well, I'm chopping trees. And I've not got enough trees yet. <laughs> but Unpacking is cute. Um, and people have been asking me to play it because they're like, can you play it so I don't have to buy it? <laughs> so I'll buy, I can buy it and play it. Um, I think I would like it. It's really relaxing. So from what I've seen of it, it looks cute. I've never played The Sims 1 StarCraft. I don't even, you can't buy it anymore is the thing. So I don't even know. Um, you could probably like mess with your PC to run it and then you could probably like download it off some like abandoned wear sites to be honest with you. I haven't tried but I would assume that you could probably get it like that. Um, the game's like 20, 22 years old so I would not be surprised um, if you could get it like that. Um, okay I got my coffee thank you. Thank you. 
Maybe. Unpacking is a little cozy game where you uh, unpack. <laughs> Dead serious. That's how it works. It's kind of cute, though, from what I've seen. Um, you could also probably find, like, a physical copy of The Sims 1 at, at like, a thrift store or something. Um, if people have donated their old games. Might be able to get one there, yeah. Um, I was gonna say, a lot of times you can find, like, old Sims 3 expansion packs and stuff like that at thrift stores. Um, like, the disc copies, so. Let's go. Back, back we go. Slowly but surely, we'll make it back. <laughs> Um, am I planning on starting a new save soon? In Stardew? I, I still want to get divorced. I need to get divorced and, um, turn my kids into doves, but I want to have a second kid first! Abigail has not asked me for a second kid yet! I mean, I could. I could just do it now, but... I won't do it today. <laughs> Maybe next time we play we could do it, but I... I still want to have a second kid. <laughs> um, but you have to sort of wait till the spouse randomly asks you, and then you can, so... This is the end of year two, Sydney. We're on the end of year two, winter year two, at the moment. Oh, Marty, didn't know I stream on Twitch? I stream on Twitch every day, um, so it's good to see you. Welcome in. We stream on Twitch a lot, if you haven't popped in before. I think you might like it. <laughs> I'm a little bit biased, but I have fun on stream, so <laughs> I think you'll have fun here too. But yeah, I stream a lot on Twitch, if you didn't know. Feel free to pop in from time to time. Okay. Is there, like, something in the way there? No. Come here. It's so weird. I'm, I'm trying to, um... Plant the- or place these, uh, little pieces of wood in between the trees so that they don't keep spawning. Oh my god, I still don't have enough. Jeez. Can I get some of this then? But I don't want them to, like, drop seeds, so I'm trying to... Yeah, I know. We The kid was just born and it's still a baby, so she can't ask for another kid yet. We just gotta keep playing. Um, but then, who knows how long it'll take for her to ask for another kid. Um, but the kid is still a baby. We already got one baby in the crib, so she can't. The baby was actually born really recently. Like, in one of the more recent streams that I've done playing Stardew, so... It'll be a while still. I shouldn't have placed these down here. <laughs> back we go, back we go. This is winter of year two, PG. Winter of year two. Uh, okay. Hopefully just a few more pieces. Got those in there. I got that P, ooh. There's a bunch of random spots that I've missed. Those there. Those there. Oh, I'm never gonna finish. <laughs> There's like always more. It's terrible. Okay. Still not enough. <laughs> yeah, Riley, I don't usually stream on Sundays, but I, I'm live today um, because I wanted to play some Stardew, so. If I start another save to do perfection again, would I do it on stream? I don't know, maybe. Um, we did a lot of my last perfection save on stream. I did most of it off camera though, because I started it for fun and then I started streaming it. Um, but maybe. It would take a long time to do it. But it could be fun to do again. I'm wasting so much of my wood. Ugh. Okay. Let's go place the rest of these. Almost done. Almost done. Just a few more little pieces. <laughs> Is that all of it? There's most of it's there. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's 12 a.m. We go to bed again. All right, next day. What'd you miss? We've just been hanging out playing a little bit of Stardew today. You didn't miss a ton. We're just hanging out. So. 
If I played Terraria, do you mean like Terraria? Did you like typo? I've played Terraria before. Only like once or twice though. I streamed it with a, an old friend once. Um, okay, go to sleep, please. Do I have all the achievements? On Steam, I'll show you. <laughs> oh, so on Steam, I am missing, uh, let me go to my library again. I am missing of the achievements. Where, how do I find them? Come back. Here we go. Um, so <laughs> I've got them all except the journey, beating journey of the Prairie King um, and the, the last hidden achievement. But I've got all of the other ones. Kayla, we can't see. I know you couldn't see, I hadn't pulled it up yet. I showed you now, you can see now. But anyway, I almost have them all. <laughs> um, not quite though, not quite. Journey of the Prairie King when? <laughs> oh, I know the last hidden achievement, I know what it is. I don't know if we should say it on stream just in case anyone doesn't want to be spoiled. Oh, would you look at that, baby. But just in case no one wants to be spoiled, maybe we shouldn't say it. I know what the last one is though. Mm, no, Indigo. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know if we're gonna get the last achievements because I, I don't really- Oh wait, my secret friend! I clicked off of it, I didn't look! <gasps> no! Where's my mail? Come back. Uh-oh. I'm gonna reload just so I can see who my secret friend is. Hang on, sorry besties. Let me just talk to my baby. It'll say it again, but I wanna know. <clears throat> I wanna know now. So I'm gonna check now. Bearing in mind that I'm probably gonna forget by the time we stream again next time, so. <laughs> anyway, um, let me see who it is. Caroline, okay. Very cool. Some of us will remember. Some of us will try and remember. <laughs> um, okay, let me just get some more of these. I think today, next plan is gonna be to, um, let me put some of my stuff away. My next plan is going to be to go back to the island, I think. No, I have these again. Does kissing your spouse every day affect uh, having kids? I don't know. I don't think so. No, I went to my collections tab to look for the letters, but it wasn't there. Um, trust me, I tried that first. <laughs> it wasn't there though. Um, I'm just gonna dump these in here for a sec so I don't forget about them. And let's go to the island. Yeah, and it keeps their friendship up if you kiss them. So I guess that helps, but no, it doesn't actually directly affect it. I meant to um, get another diamond for Krobus. And I forgot. Kissing, ew, I know, disgusting. Disgusting. This is for you, little guy. Let's go. Your name's Carolina, it freaked you out. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like talking about Caroline being your secret Santa. Here you are, you're Caroline. <laughs> okay, let's go give this to Krobus and then go to the island. It'll be good. No, once you're married, the spouse moves in with you. Um, once you're married, they move in. So you don't need to like search for them or anything. <laughs> once you're married, they move into your house. Um, okay. Here you go. Thank you. Auto petter. I have the auto petter. 
Um, you can get the auto petters from, um, if you didn't know, if you did Jojo Mart, you can buy them easy peasy. But if you didn't do Jojo Mart, you have a chance of finding them in a chest in the Skull Caverns, which is kind of cool. Um, oh, thank you for the bits, by the way. I, I'm excited. What are you, what are you drawing? What are you up to? What's it looking like? Um, your name is Lacey, so when I mentioned the alien Lacey who married my sim and my legacy in the video, you were dying. That's so funny. Um, okay. Let's go. I did. I went with Joja in this one, Spring Moon, because I've never done it before. And in this save, I've been trying to be evil. <laughs> like, basically, I dated literally everyone. There's a cutscene that you get when you date all of them. They're like, they like, um catch you out and then they all like yell at you at once it's quite fun I wanted to see the cutscenes I hadn't seen it before so I dated everybody um I've never been divorced so I'm gonna get divorced from Abigail uh I'm gonna turn my kids into doves haven't done that before so it'll be a fun first um you meant an auto pedal for your spouse oh I didn't read your whole message so I might have missed what you said <laughs> I just heard the word auto petter and I was like oh I can explain that my bad but that would work for your spouse too, I guess. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, but there's two cutscenes. You want, you get one with all the boys, one with all the girls. Um, they're very similar, but they're slightly different. And if you have a rabbit's foot on you, you get a different cutscene altogether. They don't catch you. Um, but we did we did that on stream because I had never seen it and I wanted to. So that was kind of fun too, getting to see that for the first time. Um. Okay. Come on. Come on. Let me just get the rest of my stuff, please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, Magic, you can have as many saves as you want. You don't need- it's not like Animal Crossing. You aren't limited to just one save per your computer. You can have as many saves as you want. And I've played this game a lot. Um. Okay. I'm probably just gonna sell these straight because I have lots of fruit extra still. Or maybe I'll sell the fancy ones and I'll keep the regular quality ones. That could be good, I guess. I'll do that. I have a warp totem, I can just go home. Cool. I forgot I got that. I'm back. <laughs> All right, now we can put that uh, in, well, I've got extra in the chest in my house. Maybe I'll leave these in here with my new kegs. Is it better to play this game on PC rather than an iPad? Uh, I think it's, it's, yeah, I would probably say so. I mean, it all depends on your preference, but the controls are probably a lot easier. But if, if the iPad is better for you because it's more portable, it's also cheaper on mobile. Um, the one thing is the, the most recent update hasn't come to mobile yet. Um. But if you're just starting out, that probably won't affect you much for a while, so. Aren't you gonna make more wine? Yeah, with the rest of that, but I have to, I still have loads extra, Ava, that's the thing. I've got loads of extra fruit still. I have more fruit than I can make wine out of. <laughs> um, I have more fruit than I can make wine out of, so I don't necessarily need it. I'm gonna go to sleep. I might play like one last day and then get off stream probably. Uh, I think that would be good. I want to bake my cake, so. <laughs> I'll probably play like one last day and then get off. So. Day 19 of winter, year two. Okay. More wine, more wine. But see, I've got loads of extra still. And I've got starfruit on the way. So we'll get there. We've got plenty of things. More fruit than we have kegs. Stop, I almost, I keep almost eating it. That's not good. That's some ancient fruit wine. You're gonna make an Oreo cake? Oh, that sounds fun. I haven't decided what I want my cake to taste like yet, but I do know I wanna decorate it like a frog. So. I like the idea of the Oreo plan. I don't know what I'll do though. I need to pick a recipe still. I might just wing it with the filling. Okay. 
Why a frog? I just want to. I like the idea. I think it sounds cute. So I will. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of people, by the way, people were asking about playing uh, Stardew on console, like on Switch. People love Stardew on Switch. Um, that is a very popular, oh, I'm missing one of the kegs. Stardew on Switch is very popular. Um, it's, it's very well liked. So I think if you were to get it on your Switch, you would probably like it too. Uh, I have it on my Switch. I love it. I, I mostly play on PC though, just because I, I'm more familiar with it on PC. So it's, I think of it as being a PC game, but if you get it for the first time on Switch, you'd probably like it. Um, okay, got those. I'm gonna turn them into more little seeds for me. Put those away. Um, next, oh, Krobus, Krobus, we go to Krobus. Oh, I'm gonna go down though, cause I wanna get um, the traveling cart. And then Krobus. It'll be fun. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I will, Winter Rose, if I actually end up making it. And if it's not ugly, I'll probably share a picture with you. If it's ugly, I probably won't. But if it's not ugly, I will. <laughs> you get it. Uh, refilling the pet bowl makes them happier. So it makes your friendship go up faster with them, Eve. But it's not a big deal if you forget. Uh, this is the Four Corners Farm. Nep. Four Corners Farm. Yeah, you don't have to water the pet bowl. But if you want to, like, it does help. So... You can't go wrong. Oh, thanks, Plum Bobs. I'm, I feel so relieved that they finally scheduled the green card interview. Um, it's like such a weight off your shoulders, you know, because you've been, I've been so stressed about it since August. I mean, like, and also like, we, this is one of those things that I guess I've been stressed about since like we first applied for the visa in general in, you know, February of 2020. Oh, I already gave you a gift this week, Krobus. Sorry. Um, but it's, it's really nice. Um, to finally like have that date, <laughs> you know? Um, it's good to have that like ready and, and like actually happening and stuff, so. Um, okay. Less than a month away as well, I know. Kind of nerve wracking, but it's exciting. Okay, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to the desert. Yeah, Christine, I didn't really know what to expect because I knew that so we've like been given an appointment by USCIS in Orlando once before now. They had to mail us a letter with an appointment date for his biometrics, like to get his fingerprints taken and stuff. And that was sim like the same thing. It was like just about a month out, a little bit less than a month out, like almost exactly a month out, like this one is. Um, and so I, I was thinking like, maybe it'll be similar to that, but also I don't know how far in advance they schedule out the green card interviews. Like what if it's way more? Um, what if it's way worse? And that's, the other thing is that you can't really look that kind of thing up so easily because it's like, it depends on your local office. Like I'm, I'm dealing with like the Orlando USCIS office, right? But, um, it might be different, like, you know, in a, in a different town or city, city, I mean. So like, it's hard to, to judge and like guesstimate how long it'll take to process when it's like local. Um, they gave you a week notice for your biometrics and like six months for your interview? Really? Yeah, they gave us like three weeks notice for the biometrics. Um, yeah, we got the date. It came in the mail yesterday, Lauren. We have the date finally, um, which is good. It's like the middle of April. I'm trying not to say the exact day because I feel nervous about that. I'm like, you know, you're gonna know, you will know my exact location if I tell you I'm gonna be at like the USCIS office on April such and such. <laughs> so I'm trying to not say the exact date. Um, but it, yeah, it's in the middle of April. Um, the lead time from the interview to getting approval. That's the thing, Joe, that also really depends. From what I've read, some people are like saying, oh yeah, like I got the, we did the interview and then I got the green card in the mail a week later. Other people, it takes some months. Like I really, I, I don't know what to expect. Um, I really have no idea what to expect with that, so. I'll keep you posted, um, but <laughs> once he has the interview, then he can get the green card, and the green card gives him, like, his permanent residency. It's a two- it's a two-year conditional green card, and then after that we have to do another interview, and then he gets a ten-year green card. Um, sounds like Florida's so faster than Texas. It might be, yeah. 
When was yours? When did yours happen? It could be, like, a COVID thing, too, if it's, like, improved recently. Uh, you never know. Um, yeah, once he gets his green card, he can do everything. Tenacious. He can work. He can leave the U.S. He can get a license. He can function. <laughs> um, up until then, he can't do anything. Um, once he get it, he can. So that'll be really good. Uh, I'm gonna put these things away. Things away. But that'll that'll be a big relief. And we're, we're really glad that um, it's sort of coming hopefully soon because um, this way, we were really worried about it because Dan's brother is getting married in August. Um, obviously, he really wants to be able to go to Liam's wedding. Um, and so we were really worried about like that and it taking too long, but how the process changed during COVID. Oh, massive delays, Grace, massive delays, like still seeing ripple effects from that with the COVID delays. It kind of depends, I guess, locally where you are as well, but a lot of the embassies we're not even processing K-1 visas at all, um, like this whole time, <laughs> um, during COVID. So, um, there's been, like, massive delays, because, um, during COVID, uh, when the borders were closed, they weren't processing K-1 visas for a long time, because they were like, well, you can't travel to the U.S., um, on a K-1 visa, so we won't process them. It was really weird, because the, the U.S. government did, like, exemptions for a lot of different visa, cat visa categories, like, um, like, student visas were exempt from the travel bans, spousal visas were exempt from the travel bans, and then a lot of things were, like, specifically included in the travel bans, but K-1 visas just weren't mentioned, and so the embassies were like, okay, well, then you can't travel, so we won't process them, and it seems like an oversight. It doesn't really make sense that, like, after, you know, you wait for a year for a fiancé visa, you could get it and then, like, not be able to travel to it during the travel ban. Like, you would think that would be included in the list of exemptions, like, the exempt visas, because, like, there's such a big process in getting it, but it wasn't, so they weren't processing them for a long time. Um, I'm chopping the trees really fast because I've got an enchanted Iridium Axe, um, so it's swift. It's enchanted. But anyway, they don't care about- fiancé isn't legally tied to you, so they don't care about them. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's a whole thing. The whole thing was a whole- delayed nightmare process. And then, like, obviously, um, a lot of, like, the USCIS offices were, like, closed or dealing with less staff during COVID, so <sighs> slowed down the processing quite a bit. Um, but anyway. I- I think so, Megs. I'm pretty sure, um, I'm not even animation cast canceling. <laughs> Wait, I should VIP you, hang on. I'm not even animation cancel canceling. <laughs> I just have a swift enchanted axe. <laughs> no, I'm animation can- I'm really good at it. I'm animation canceling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to do it. I'm really good at that still. I totally didn't stop doing that after the tournament. Because I'm really good at it still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, I'm pretty sure that, uh, with the interview being in April, we should- he should have his green card by August. Unless there's, like, some weird fluke thing and it takes way longer to get for- for whatever horrible reason, but I don't think it will, so. It's suspiciously consistent. <laughs> no, I'm- I'm really good at animation cancelling. Right, right, right. This is not an, an enchanted axe at all. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> okay, I was gonna make myself some more little paths really fast. I wanted to stick some, like, in here so I don't forget that you can go this way. I mean, that's not why I need to put it there, but it helps to put it there, right? <laughs> then I can see it properly. Cool. That looks nice. I like it. Maybe I'll stick this little plant right there. That's cute. All right. And then I can finish up a little bit of this. I need like three more. Okay. That'll be good. I still need one more radium sprinkler, but I don't have any battery packs. Ugh. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Well, we'll be all set then. When the new year begins. Let me put all this away. Anything? 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 You can stay in there too if you want. I don't mind. Don't need those. The last time I read subs and bits. Oh my god, did I not read them? <gasps> Kayla! I've just been sitting here talking to myself! I'm the worst! I have literally no excuse for that! 
I thought I was reading them, was I not? Christine, thank you for gifting that sub to Z, by the way. <laughs> and Megs and Beetle and Ruthless and M's and C's of the 43 months and Rogue and Faith and... Oh, and Krista and Danny and AJ and Sunny and Mazzy. I think I got those, though. I think those I read. It was some of the top ones that I hadn't read. Oh my god, it's been like 10 minutes and I didn't read them! Simsy, I'm the worst. No, I'm actually sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I swear I wasn't, like, ignoring anything on purpose. <laughs> the panic in her eyes. I know. Okay. Well, let me just grab all these things. Oh, jeez. That stuff is stressing me out. <laughs> all right. Let's, um, see if we can just place some of this in here. All right. Put all that away. Goat's milk. Maybe I should sell... What if I just sold all of the weak milks? And we, um... And we kept, like, a smaller amount of milk. See, we keep, like, the big ones. That could be good. I have lots of cheese, too, that I can go put. I should actually save, like, half and half. Maybe I'll make some more goat's milk cheese soon. But we just get rid of all the weak ones, you know? So that it's a little bit more cleared out. Because there's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of stuff in here. And I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna bother processing them all. Oh, why am I doing it in this? Just go do it in the other one. I'm not gonna bother processing them all. I keep forgetting about it. I don't like go over there enough. So there's no point. Just get rid of it. Clear it out. Clear the- clear it out. Aiden, Beetle, and Megs, thank you for the subs, by the way, everybody. Oh, wait, I just sold my- Did I start with my good cheese and my coffee? I sold my coffee. I sold my coffee. Okay, so now I have this weak cheese. You are a failure, and you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh my gosh, how did I manage that? <laughs> oh, okay, well, it's fine. It could have been worse. Oops, I got four instead of three. Process those. I just don't bother to process most of these things most of the time. I'll do like one a day. We're saying F because I sold my coffee and my cheese without thinking. So, good work, Simsy. <laughs> really good work, Simsy. Uh, Goblin, thank you for the 30 months, by the way. I really, really flopped that time. I won't lie to you. That was not my finest moment. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. I'm just gonna grab all of these. I'm gonna get off stream here in a second, by the way. I usually stream till, well, I usually stream for three hours. I was actually only going to stream for two hours this morning, and then I played Animal Crossing, or I, not Animal Crossing, it's Stardew Valley, sorry. And then I played Stardew Valley for longer than I thought I would, <laughs> so. Anyway, I sold my coffee and my good cheese, but it's fine. I only had like four coffee on me, it's not a big of a deal. <laughs> but still, I sold it by accident. Alright, cool. Well, we've done pretty well. What's for lunch? Oh, I made chili for dinner last night, so I've got a bunch of leftovers. I'm gonna eat that for lunch, probably. Um, I got a bunch of extra, so... That's the plan. Anyway, today's been fun. Thanks for hanging out with me. I know I don't usually stream on Sundays, so... Um, sorry for the weird random stream time, but tomorrow, tomorrow the new Sims kit comes out. Mm. <laughs> and also, uh, we're gonna play the Sims multiplayer mod with a bunch of my friends, like me, Gluon, Deli, James, Sasha, and Zeus are all gonna play the Sims multiplayer mod. Um, but we're gonna do that, like, later at night. Um, so that's gonna be at, like, 8 p.m. Eastern time, I think, so we're gonna do two streams tomorrow. I'll, like, stream, um, the, with the new pack, go eat dinner, and then come back and play with Gluon and them, probably. Um, so that should be fun, I think, but I'm- I'm looking forward to it. We got a couple fun sim streams planned for tomorrow. <laughs> uh, so we'll do that tomorrow, and it'll be a good time. I'm gonna wait till I grab the one last one of these. And then I'll go send my character to bed. Alright. Cool. I'm trying to get extra strawberry seeds so I can plant some in the spring. I'm gonna plant a bunch of strawberries and a bunch of, uh, ancient fruit. 
mostly ancient fruit, but some strawberries too. All right, go to sleep. How much money do we get? Okay. There's my coffee. <laughs> Gone, but not forgotten. <laughs> Anyway, this has been fun. Jules, thanks for the 24 months, by the way. I really appreciate that. Have a wonderful Sunday, everybody. Um, and I guess I'm gonna go find someone to raid, probably. Somebody who is live. That would be fun. Um, again, I don't usually stream on Sunday, so sorry that I showed up <laughs> on this fine morning, but it's been a good time. Um, hmm. Maybe we could go say hi to, oh, a bunch of people are in starting soon screens that I follow. So I don't know where to go. Um. Oh, here's a, f oh, I don't know how long they're gonna be live for though. They've been live for four hours already. I don't know if they're gonna get off. So I feel, oh, we should be okay. Uh, there's a person called Joy Eileen who is uh, playing Stardew right now. And it looks like they're, the stream title is called Cozy Speed Run. <laughs> And they're trying to go fast in the mine. So this could be a fun one to go over and say hi to. I've never been here before. Um, and also, they're speedrunning, so they might not be able to look at chat that much. But it could be fun to go over and say hi, I think. This will be, be a fun one. Um, so go say hi for me. We can, we can enjoy some mine speedrunning. <laughs> um, I had to learn how to do that, too, when we, were, when we did that Stardew tournament. It's kind of fun. Um, but I think we'll like it over here. I think it'll be a fun time. So say hi, and I'll, I'll catch you all tomorrow, okay? Have a wonderful evening. I mean, afternoon. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Have a wonderful afternoon. And I'll catch you all tomorrow, okay? I love you. I miss you. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> and stop streaming.